It's stimulating, mind-expanding, safer to use than alcohol. It's the Little Boys Room Podcast. Five, four, three, two, one. Welcome back to... <laughs> Welcome back to the Little Boys Room Podcast. Today we have a guest. Guest, in- introduce yourself. I'm Pam. From the office. <laughs> <laughs> I love that show. <laughs> she brought her Jim here today. Jim's name is Herb. Hi. Hi. He's not on the mic. No, he's not. Can I ask a question? Do people call you Herb? Because like when you talk about Herbs, the H is silent, but for names, it's Herb, right? It, it happens quite a lot, yeah. Does that annoy you? What's your stance on that? Uh, yes, it does. Really he's... Yes, it does. It does at work. <laughs> Do you uh, correct them? Yeah, yeah, most of the time, yeah. Yeah? yeah. Good. It's Herb, motherfucker. <laughs> it's a hard, hard H. There's a hard H in there. Hard R, bitch. <laughs> no, nice, though. Nice, nice. Pam, first question. Yeah. Um, As a black woman, what is your opinion on The Matrix Reloaded? Uh, no. Is I'm... it a good movie? Oh, I listened to this podcast. I'm just talking about. Um, I've only seen the first Matrix, and that was. Oh, there. how? <laughs> that's like that was. That you was. missed out on the cultural phenomenon. <laughs> <laughs> that is Matrix Reloaded. The courtyard scene. Come on. God. The bowling pin sound effect. <laughs> <laughs> it's the best part part of the scene. Herb, what is your take? Uh, I'll take it or leave it. You know that's more positive than the other times we've asked. <laughs> That's like honestly. That's I will positive. not take or leave that. I'm shooting for good or great. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing beneath that. Absolutely fantastic. Like this. If it's on sci-fi, I'll watch it. Just the sci-fi Just network. Sci-fi <laughs> it's on TNT. It's TNT, on TNT. Fuck TNT. that. FX. I'll, I'll, I'll skip it. You know what's funny? What? I think I've seen it on TNT. <laughs> 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 TNT has a lot of movies. Yeah, FX too. I remember seeing uh, that was their uh, slogan. FX has the movies. Yeah. That was right. Uh, that was right when uh, before FX two came out. Times. <laughs> FXX. Uh, yeah. Oh, is that yeah? FX squared. Mm, no. It's yeah, I wonder if they'll ever do an adult network FXXX. <laughs> it's just porn on yes. cable, <laughs> <laughs> but with their yeah. own intellectual properties. Like it's always sunny and shit. Danny DeVito's in all of them. Oh. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. I'd I'd buy that for a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> Robocop. <laughs> we know movies. <laughs> uh, mm. You guys know movies, but you never know the actor or the actress. It, like, I, I do. No, you don't. I ha- I ain't got my names down. Oh, you know it fucking drives you nuts. I'll be at home and you guys will be like, oh, what's that one person? I'm like Amy Adams. It's Amy Adams. How do you guys not know these? Don't people? we come up with that shit later in like the episode though? I need you guys to know it right away. Like, me I don't know. You guys, you guys, look it up. Look it up. I'm like, uh, well, why don't you be here all the time? Pam, and just who, be... who's your favorite actor or actress we've forgotten on the podcast? It's not even like favorite people. It's uh... <laughs> it's all B B roll <laughs> actors. <laughs> Terry, just beautiful. Dude, what happened to her? Oh, it's rough. Didn't she get a bunch of botched like oh, yep. cosmetic she, jobs? She looks like she's frozen in time <laughs> in, in the early 2000s. <laughs> yeah. She's in all those uh, Sharknado movies, right? Yeah. Oh, is she? That's a shame. I have not seen a single one of those. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you're... You're no, not yeah. missing out? No. Herb, Herb looks shocked. <laughs> you have not kept up your shot. The movies are a tour de force, man. <laughs> Oscar worthy. <laughs> Some say Sharknado is the piranha three double D of its time. <laughs> <laughs> was that a real movie? Yeah. Was that what it was really It was called? in 3D. I think it might have been the sequel. Double D, though, right? Yeah. I think a bunch of porn stars are in it. Like in, playing in the, the beach piranha. scene? <laughs> yeah, they're playing the piranhas. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to get you. <laughs> With my teeth. Um, What's your favorite uh, aquamarine-based uh, monster <laughs> movie? <laughs> Aquamarine. <laughs> <laughs> the mermaid movie. Aquamarines. Marine? Starring Dolph Lundgren. <laughs> Arnold and uh, we gotta take over the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wait. So, what is it? Oh, uh, Creature from the Black Lagoon. You ever seen it? It's oh, that's classic. Classic, I and it's uh, terrible. I think the best part is my mom watching it because she's your classic uh, black woman, and she gets so annoyed by the female lead constantly getting kidnapped. She's oh, yeah. like, 
just fucking take her. Just fucking take her. <laughs> it's what? not worth it at this <laughs> point. I mean, he's worked so hard at this point. Just fucking take her. Right. She keeps fucking swimming in this goddamn lake. Just take her. Like, That's yeah. a pretty good choice. How about you, Brandon? Water-based water movie based. creature? Yeah, water-based. Come on. Yeah. Mm, it's a little uh, mermaid, uh, isn't it? <laughs> I've actually have not seen that. Are you fucking that movie's kind of fucked up. I haven't seen a lot of uh, classic Disney films. Some thought wants to be on land so she can mac on some dude she saw on the beach. One time. <laughs> some thought. <laughs> <laughs> As she sells her voice. Uh, fuck, what? Come What's on, a man. good one? Oh, there's this one Korean film called The Host. Oh, that is actually really that, good. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's not a bad film, but it's the first one that came to mind. Yeah, nice. that's a really good that's fucking really good. movie. Yeah. It's a really good resolution. I think South Korea, right? Because North Korea is... That's, that's the bad one. <laughs> like, that's the bad Korea? Um, best Korea, actually, guys. Yeah. Come on. Best Korea. <laughs> <laughs> I think my favorite North Korea story is we were like, hmm, maybe it was a Kim Jong-un, right? The first one? Yeah. They're like, oh. Wait, ill. Wait. Kim the, Jong-il yeah. was, was the first one, and then Un's and then his he, son. And then yeah, he got so, ill. Yeah, the dad. And he died. <laughs> Wait, you can't fucking say that. Oh, cut it, cut it. We love uh, our we love the N- NKP, right? Or NPK? North. Anybody over there listening on a ham radio? <laughs> yeah, tuning. Bunch of people in prison. What the fuck? Little he boy. doesn't know what uh, aquamarine movie he likes. <laughs> fuck! What an idiot. In perfect I'm just English. Stay here. <laughs> I was trying, trying to leave, but if this is all, all the the U.S. has has to offer, I'm staying. I don't know. This was worse. It's almost worse. Trash land. <laughs> West Coast is built on garbage opinions. Oh, but, yeah. My favorite story with him is uh, yeah. when he wanted to quit smoking. You're going to be right against Mike. Uh-huh. I fucking hate you so much. It's like Alex is here. <laughs> Absolutely. Pam's the new Alex. <laughs> Thank you so much. He wanted to quit smoking, so he made the whole country like quit smoking. You're like, oh, Okay. Guess that makes uh, the one good thing you ever did was. If I'm gonna quit, you're, you're all, all gonna, gonna quit. quit. Solidarity, forced solidarity. <laughs> it's like okay, that's like your one good fact. Okay. And I bet he still did Smoke? not quit. Oh no. Yeah. Where does the know. shark from Jaws tie into this though? That's what I want to know. Are we still in that aquamarine bit? <laughs> <I was> like, <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I was like, I don't know how to. Uh, to answer that question, uh, Deep Blue Sea. Oh, who's in that? LL Cool J, baby. Yeah, Isn't it, um fucking Thomas Jane? Thomas Jane and uh Samuel Jackson? Yeah. Yeah, he gets yeah. I remember seeing that. Do you remember the song LL Cool J made for that movie? No. no. It's fucking hilarious. It plays during the credits. My, my hat is like a shark's fin. That's a real serious? lyric. It's great. Hey, speaking of songs that rappers did for movies, okay. Eminem did a song for fucking Venom. Hey, did you see Venom? Yeah, I, I saw it. It was really I saw, good. I wanted to see it. Are you fucking... I was gone. <laughs> I was gone all weekend. Are you in uh, Bizarro so- Land? <laughs> <laughs> it's Actually, I mean... A spoiler-free review. What happens at the end is no. Um, it it's solid six, maybe high five. A it, ten? Yeah. That's not a good review. That makes me not want to see it. Yeah, you shouldn't see it. You, <laughs> you should probably wait. It, I heard from Tom Hardy they cut like forty minutes out of the film. Oh. It. I think the runtime was hour twelve or one hundred twelve, so about two hours. It it. Watching it, it does seem like a lot of shit was cut. Mm-hmm. Um, just because, like, some, once once you get towards the second act, it just feels like it. it there's not a lot of uh, cohesion. Yeah, yeah. Like it's just like okay, we're here now. Like, yeah. Now, are you basing this off of like the standard Disney has set for like movies, or just? Cause now, I, I think that's the problem now. Is everyone's going to base every comic movie? Oh, on the Marvel. Formula. Yeah, I think that's yeah, yeah. So it's hard but it, to like. But it, is that wrong? Because that's a good fucking. I mean, they know what they're formula. doing. Yeah. But Wonder Woman, right? And that was good. Wonder Woman was a safe plot line. It was. It, it, it was like a safe bet. They needed safe though. Yeah, I really liked Wonder Woman. It's really good. That was one that I was like, it, it, it was good, but it wasn't anything hella special to me. No, but I was like, oh, finally DC got it one. It felt nice. I do think it, uh, the crit- critique it got for being too close to the first Cap Captain America was a little unfair. Oh, because it's a war. Oh, it's aesthetic. a war, and then the dude sacrifices himself. Captain to... America uh, created the world wars to sell his comic book. <laughs> it's common knowledge yeah. in the Marvel ethos. <laughs> uh, does Tom Hardy sell it? You know, yeah. 
I think you're so unsure of this review. I'm like, Jesus. I'm unsure about the movie, and that's what makes me want to say that it's not that great. Because if you come away from a film and you're like, eh, like, I don't know, like, then that kind of says says a lot by itself. Is there any, like, Spider Man shit? No. I feel like that's weird. Mm hmm. Because the entire, like, basis of the character, the baseline is Spider Man. Mm hmm. Like, he works as his own character, but after you have the Spider-Man thing in there. Right. It's weird. Yeah. They, um, from what I was reading online is, like, they're planning on doing their own, like... Sony. Venom, like, like symbiote storyline shit. Oh. Like, like they, they, they tease Carnage. Okay. They had oh, some... Oh, nice. That's cool. That's, that's, that's her <laughs> not even that's cool oh, Fuck. No. Woody Harrelson in like a fucking curly red wig like you I couldn't hear, find I, anyone else I hear he, sa- he says the word carnage yeah and there's gonna be carnage oh. Whoa! Whoa! Like, I know that one I know that one <laughs> like, uh, uh. imagine being a Sony executive and being like yeah <laughs> that's mm-hmm. put it out Derek said it's like superhero films before they knew how to Early make 2000s. them. Early 2000s. And gotcha. that's exactly how it feels. Okay. As hearing that comparisons to Catwoman. Yeah. That this is yeah. outrageous Catwoman. Oh. That's a shame because I, like yeah. yeah. I like Tom Hardy a lot. And He deserves better. He does. Like, yeah. I want to imagine he signed on and like he thought it was going to be something completely different. different. And, he was, and then it's like, oh. Fuck, I can't get out now. I'm there, the star character. There's also a lot of uh, tonal confusion. Like, I, it kind of seems like they went in with one tone. I hear in, it's kind of goofy. In it is. It's a little too goofy. Like, the does, whole... Uh, does Goofy show up? <laughs> <laughs> Man, don't do it! <laughs> Fucking eats Goofy. <laughs> like, come on, Eddie. Mm. Um, yeah, it's like... Man, I'm I'm just... I wanted it to be great. Oh well, and well, it you yeah. want to go with expectations, dude. Well, not expecting it, but I was just like, I would hope that Sony didn't fuck shit up again, and they they like you're in an abusive relationship. You're like, I yeah. think it's gonna get better. It's funny. I they're think gonna, they're they, gonna change. They, fu- they fucked it up, Spider Man three, and then it's like, okay, we're rebooting it. Mm-hmm. Fuck it. Whatever, and then you're like, okay, and then they fuck it up again, and then they're like, we're giving it to Marvel, kind of, sorta, but we have it also, <laughs> and you're like, fine, whatever, fuck it, whatever, we're doing Venom, okay, oh shit, fuck, God, just sell it off, sell it's it off, time, sell it it's off, time. or just let them make the film, but then just keep your fucking name Profit, on yeah. it, like, cause that's code you create, that's what they did with uh, Spider Man, okay, right? yeah. Anything I, I bet that's what Tom thought. He's like, oh, I'm going to be in the fucking Marvel Universe. It's going to be great. Yeah. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, fam. <laughs> Venom time. I got a hot take. Give it Venom, Give it to me. Venom's not that great of a character. He's super 90s. You know what I mean? Like in that whole era where it's like... Can you com- get the fuck out of my house? <laughs> where, that whole era where comics were like on the wane and like... Yeah. They, they made everything mm-hmm. very exaggerated and edgy and mm-hmm. shit. Like he's fine, but yeah. there's a lot more interesting villains. Give me Craven. Give me Craven in a movie. I think I think they might be doing that for uh, Far From Home. Maybe. I don't yeah, know. Isn't it Mysterio? Mysterio and a bunch of fucks. Bunch of fucks. The classic. <laughs> the classic. Uh, the the <laughs> sinister fucks. <laughs> Aha, Spider Man! It's us. A bunch of fucks. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh, shit. <laughs> I got my work cut out for me. Oh, man, I got this and college class. <laughs> Dr. Well, Connor said, well, fuck. <sighs> Pam. Yes. I don't know. <laughs> Do you have shit to say? <laughs> What's the last movie you saw, Pam? Yeah. Ooh, fuck. I never have time for the movies. What? You don't like to go to the theaters? I do. I just never go. I haven't been the one in a while. You should make the time. I think it's a good experience. It is a good experience. I think the last one I saw was Mission Impossible. I heard that was really good. That was super fucking good. I just think it's good because it, it found its like exa- exaggerated act- action like niche and it's just milking that. But not in a bad way. It's just... It's just great it, movie making. Yeah. It's a fun ride. 
Yeah. Like it, it and like it knows knowing the... all those stunts are real. It's like, whoa, fuck. <laughs> He's so crazy. Like that bathroom scene. Jesus Christ. Oh, that bathroom fight scene was good. Yeah. Have Have you uh, kept up with the the MI series, Pam, with our boy Tom Cruise? No. The fuck. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry. I seen like the first few ones, but. I don't like Tom Cruise. It's like really hard for me to like. Separate yourself. It's fine. I can't. What do you mean you can't? Tom Cruise is like one of the last like classic Hollywood actors out there. Is it because of his Scientology? You know, I was never a Tom Cruise person. He was a good guy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, your thetan's off. We need to do a thetan eating. Pam's thetan levels are all they're, off. They're all off. Fuck. <laughs> can you hold the soda can <laughs> for me <laughs> while we test you? <laughs> One of the weirdest place I've seen Dianetics for Scientology is at the flea market. The very best flea market. I was like, really? I was like, not, not the crowd. <laughs> were were, were <laughs> they doing like free readings? <laughs> yeah, I was like, uh, they're like in this booth These in the people back. have no money. <laughs> no money, and they're Mexicans. Usually they're Catholic. So I was like, mm. <laughs> they'll like kick their booth down. <laughs> I was like, uh. The weirdest one I saw, I was at the um, like one of the county fairs going on. I was working hmm. one, and I was walking around on my break, and they were hmm. in like a little area, and I was like. Man. Why? No one's here. Did you start a conversation? I've only <laughs> walked by two churches. There's one off of, uh, I think, De La Cruz. Like, kind of down by that 101. And then there's one uh, down by Lundy. Is that the right. one by the post office? Yeah. 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 I see that. That's the only one I've seen. It's funny because they always look so big and fancy. And they don't look like churches. They look they like don't. a business like place. office buildings. Yeah. Like the one on wait, Saratoga Avenue, is that the one you're talking about? Like near Saratoga? No, Where that there? must be a third one. Yeah, Shit. it's like a nicer one and it's yeah, it looks like an office and you're like, wait, that's just Scientology. I'm like, picture, picture. <laughs> <laughs> Expose. I text my mom, like, look, I'm gonna join. She's like, fucking <laughs> <There's... laughs> I'm gonna join. Do you think that will like lose its credibility eventually? Or it's just too too in deep or you know, too deep in? It's one of those things I like heard someone say. Scientology is so weird to us because it's just a new religion. I mean, it's fucking out there, but is it any more out there than like yeah. the Bible? I mean, I remember <laughs> I remember someone said if Scientology was made like in the fucking like old times, like no one would bat an eye. I think I said that too. I said that me, no, well, no. me, I did. my idea. You would never say anything that intelligent. Come on. <laughs> 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 Fuck! You're gonna feed her bullshit. So true. I mean, um. No, but just like the whole money model. Give us money genius. so you can get a higher level. It's, geni- it's genius if you really think about it. It's a genius. Oh, okay, it's genius for biz business, but it's masquerading as a religion. It is, but I mean. So do, eventually, of- like, do you do you think folks will be like, hey, this is just a fucking. It's like a more direct way of when churches are like nonprofit, exactly. but also like <laughs> profit. <laughs> I have a private plane. <laughs> exactly, a private plane. Yeah, like God the, wanted me to have this private. private. So I can go, yeah, travel and spread my message. <laughs> In luxury. <laughs> In luxury, first class. Sure God okay. gave me this position, so I could enlighten the masses. <laughs> also, I this private jet. <laughs> I had a. You had a thought? I had a thought private jet once. Your first thought of the day? Go ahead. Yeah. Come on. First thought uh, of the day. It's I forgot to almost, wipe. It's almost 3 30. <laughs> Just going off fucking autopilot. Well, you yeah. know. Oh, I slept through 11 of my alarms today. It's a new new record. Oh. You have set up. Jesus. Oh, I have like 25. I, I thought <laughs> Any I was, given day. I thought I was crazy. I have like four. I have four one set, set for every 10 minutes. Jesus. And I slept through all of them, I guess. Jesus mine are like, I think mine are 30 minute intervals. I, maybe the 10 minute one would work it's a better. Dangerous game you're playing. It, it really is. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. Um, I got to work in like 12 minutes, though. That was, that was nice. That's wow. Impressive. I made like all the lights. Wow. I, 90. Just <laughs> I made like three, on three the cars crash. It was fine. fine. And a baby in the stroller. Yeah. It's fine. There was one time I was late, late for work and I'm used, used to like racing through, right? Mm-hmm. But it had rained. Oh. <laughs> and uh <laughs> <laughs> basically did you hydroplane oh i did much worse than that so uh i'm going down fuck what's the street trimble okay and there is like i think it's right on first street where the light light rail runs runs down oh yeah before it hits it hits that there's there's a slight <laughs> slight turn 
That's where your stupidity really like. Yeah. The brain cells you had were ruined after this accident. Huh? This makes sense. When was this? Fuck. I think we have a timeline. Fuck. <laughs> like stupidity is like, I can't remember. It's like Back to the Future. You're like, this is the plane you're on, and this is where it went off to the side, and it just went downhill. As I was saying, <laughs> go ahead, continue. I hit the turn, and the light turned yellow, but I was going like 60, so I like pressed on my brakes, but I lost traction. Oh fuck! But since I raced in front of all the cars, I like like slid on my side across like two lanes, but there was no cars in front because I raced up in front. So I like slid up to the cross crosswalk, and then I like backed up and <laughs> straight straight out, and all the cars came up. I like no, you know, nothing happened. Yeah, <laughs> just, <laughs> yeah, yeah, everything's fine. <laughs> Y'all just didn't see that. I'm good. We're we're all good. So I have to re- remember now. Now that it's a rainy season, to not drive like a dumbass. Gotcha. Good. So in life, though, that's probably another thing you want to add to your special list of daily things to make sure you don't. What would Brandon's list look like? Oh, it'd be long. It's more of a novella than a list. <laughs> exactly. You know, Herb's here, and I feel like I can't like talk I back. I know you're behaving. No, back, that's why. Back. That's why she brought. <laughs> <laughs> She brought me because she doesn't drive. <laughs> exactly. Oh, so I'm you're a mooch, 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 huh? Hey, you're supposed to be on my side. What I'm are you just doing? On the couch. Yeah, shut the fuck up. He's a silent observer. It's the first what? time in his the life. The omniscient man. <laughs> Which is very rare for him because he's usually over the top. Do you just talk shit to all the men in your life, or? Uh, what, yeah. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Someone has daddy issues. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, my dad left me when I was four. Never seen him again. <laughs> my dad never respected me, so I don't respect any man. <laughs> my dad was late picking me up from school once, and it's never been the same. So now, instead of resorting to porn, I just hate on all the men that I know in my life. <laughs> That's sad. No, it's just you. You just bring it out. Probably from the first moment I've ever met you. It's just... Because I uh, did not take your shit, or what? Because you, like, tried to front, and I was like, nah, Pam, fuck that shit. I tried to front. I was just quietly probably in the back room, and you came in like a fucking... What's up, fucker? (laughs) What's up, faggot? That's pretty much how he started all of his days. We have two accounts now, Pam and Henry last week, (laughs) of uh, confirming you're a piece of shit at work. I'm not. I'm... I breathe life. Are you fucking kidding me? There'll be times we're just on the break trying to relax, and this fucker will just come and be like, you guys are all guns, and just walk away. (laughs) And then 30 seconds seconds later, just trash the next group of people that are in there. Is your HR office just on fire? (laughs) It it should be. It really should be. They all know I'm joking, though, because, like, it's it's mundane and boring (laughs) at Sprouts, and everyone's like, man, this is so boring, and I... And I fucking step, step in the room, right? And I'm like, what's up, bitches? And they're like, oh, shit, it's Brandon. I love that guy. I'm just picturing, like, Brandon going off in the back and the HR's just, like, slightly, like, away from it. And just like... <laughs> like I just don't know how to stop it. At this point, it's just like... Okay. There's been times that the H- HR person was, like, at work and I did not know <laughs> <laughs> I was saying some shit. But, uh, did they pull you aside? <laughs> no, because yeah. I'm a fucking saint. In the eyes of uh, management, I could get away with murder there. He does a lot of interesting things. <laughs> yeah. I like. I... If you could murder any of your uh, workforce, who would it be? So speak clearly and directly to the mic. State yeah. your name first. And their department and the time. Yeah. They Pam. Work. Say your but name first. Brandon. I, Brandon Hagen, would murder Pam. What's your last name? Mm, <laughs> yeah. You know? Mm-hmm. Pam Blank. That's Johnson, proud. which is Johnson. the classic black last name right now. <laughs> I thought it was Washington. <laughs> Washington, Johnson. Washington is a very popular one. Hell yeah. yeah. Johnson, Jackson. Freeman. 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 <laughs> Shut up. Spoon-dive. It's funny because they're not really that free. Freeman. <laughs> 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 Pam, what is your take on Black Lives Matter? <laughs> oh, Don't answer matter. that. Don't answer that. <laughs> Please Fuck. answer. I don't need to, we don't need to get into this. <laughs> because I think blue lives <laughs> matter. <laughs> um, actually, Brandon, all lives all, matter. All lives matter. Yeah. Has there ever been like a bigger like thing where people miss the point entirely than that in modern mm. society? No. Mm. Why do people like do that? Is it because they like are trying to seem right too. It like, makes them feel like righteous. Yeah, they're more woke, Brandon. <laughs> Mm, woke. <laughs> you know, Pam, I'm woke. Uh, please stop. I'm I, taking I, like three that. philosophy classes. I'm woke. I have been woken. 
know, that's why I hate like any type of new like rap song comes out like Childish Gambino and all the people on my Facebook are like, oh, this is America. <gasps> oh shit! Oh, oh, oh. I'm, like, He's fucking saying it. <laughs> he gets it. He, this right here. I'm like, oh fuck. This is shit. America. Um. So you don't like woke folks? Cause you must be slapping. Oh, that you, was good. That you was must. Good. You must be a slap. You just have to kind of clap and be like, "Good job, good job, Brandon." So brave. So brave. <laughs> good job. Ah, uh, fuck you, Pam. Yeah. Do, you, do you remember that when we were talking about the other day? The first time you called me a cunt. Do I? Uh, do, do you remember? Was it the first day? Please answer that. Um, you know, I actually I say really, that word so much. He does. I don't remember does, any time. Usually, he says it to guys though. No, you and uh, f- what's that cunt's name? Crystal. <laughs> oh yeah, <Poor laughs> Crystal. Yeah. Yeah. That one's nice because he gets some alliteration in there. Crystal the cunt. Yeah. But it's great to watch um, other guys get comfortable though, uncomfortable like him calling people a cunt. Though. Oh it's yeah. Great. Oh, because everyone knows it's taboo, so you're like, I, oh, oh shit. shit. Like first time, and like I'm black, they think I'm y'all crazy, and so. And we're like, you said they it. freak the fuck like, out when <laughs> when I use use the hard art. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's. <laughs> It's brutal. Uh, Brandon, can you, uh, for the kids at home, repeat what that is? Yeah, what is the, hard the hard R? R refers to the word. Got it. <laughs> I was trying to think of a word that ends in uh, a hard R, but besides the one that ends in hard Tiger. R. Tiger. Harder. <laughs> Pepper. <laughs> Popcornier. <laughs> <laughs> no, but what's what's the first time, Pam? Tell us. Um, for the for the the little boys at home listening, what's the first time? It's the first time I called you a cunt, cunt. Can I just say how creepy it is that you like have to say little boys and get really close to the mic? Like, <laughs> I always got to be close to the, the little fucking boys. Show, Pam. <laughs> <laughs> it's really creepy. Um, I think it was just usual. Um, I need you to actually do your job and check in. Like, oh, I you? had you had to do your job and work the fucking vitamins, <laughs> Pam. I would have an entire fucking wall all checked in. All the sides of the boxes were checked, and you'd be like, "I gotta work, Kahi." No, fuck you. Work your shit. <laughs> I need space. I'm the only one that put shipment away. Priority. <laughs> How long ago is that? It's like fucking last week. No. <laughs> I don't know. This is every day. We How, lo- How long have you been away from the, the Sprouts family, Pam? Mm, like a month, right? Oh, wow. Only a month. A month? Uh, Feels like a lifetime. Fuck Sprouts. bliss with you. Oh, excuse yeah. me, sir. Fuck Whole Foods, too. I hate it. <laughs> Fuck retail. <laughs> yeah. Your podcast is sponsored by Sprouts and Whole Foods. <laughs> uh, get, get your groceries uh, from Prime Now for uh, Whole Foods. But anyways, go on, Pam. I think normal were, day. I think were, yeah, normal day. You were talking shit to me. You were, I think, in rare form. I think <laughs> peak. Peak <laughs> performance. Peak performance must have been midday, so you are almost off. Um, I think you were just, I forgot who it was. Someone in produce or bulk was standing back there as you just were going off on me, and I was just like, uh-huh. Go ahead, get it all out. Get your frustration out, your anger. Right. right. And uh, you then called me a cunt, and I remember like, I was trying to laugh, and whoever it was was just like, oh my God. Was it Orlando? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> He's just like, I keep fucking He's like, this. like, oh shit, what is He's she going to do? Oh my God. <laughs> is it okay that he <laughs> called you that? Like, it's like reaching for the phone to call HR. <laughs> fuck, fuck, fuck. I'm surprised no one has called HR like on me for shit that I said to someone else. You got to be careful. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right, or nah, yeah, fuck it. HR is a bunch of cunts. Fuck. <laughs> um, Pam can confirm this. When I'm like actually mad, though, I stay quiet he the does. entire day. It's super fun and awkward. He just has his resting, resting bitch face, like he just, <laughs> just like he's waiting for someone to say something. He's just like, mm. 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 he like, doesn't <sighs> talk. He doesn't say anything. No, he I'm up. upset. I'm like, oh, poor Brandon's in a mood today. Okay, <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> Who knows what he's pissed about, but it just... Probably vitamins are not doing their <laughs> fucking job! No. <laughs> no. Oh, no. You always do a job, you know what? Always. Always. Your fucking carts that you don't fucking work. You have, like, one cart that's just for useless yeah, shit. He acts like I'm in charge of vitamins. Basically? I mean... I mean basically are, because Derek don't do <laughs> shit. Very true. <laughs> no. But, but he, he was my boss, though, so I'd be like, what are we doing with this shit? Like, uh, 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 I don't care. I don't know. I don't care. We'll figure it out, bro. You should see the back room now that I'm not in receiving. It's, it's rough. oh, it's it's rough like a dog. There's like sep. There's like th- three or four 
separate giant stacks of like boxes that need to be checked, checked oh, in, and it, there it's not. Getting that's what happens in. when you sell your soul to the dairy industry, friend. That's what ha- hap- happens when they lose their best receiver. That's what happens. I know. That's what happens. I had such high hopes. I heard you were such a good receiver. You look like such a cool guy. When he opened his mouth, and I was like, oh, <laughs> my fucking God. Well, you just, like, are, are being, and that, like, ruins my life, you know? Just your existence. Your existence. That's how I feel about you. Your, your aura Aww. taints my life, okay? That's exactly how I feel about you. <laughs> and then I found out who your brother was, and I was like, really? I loved your brother. I was like, how are they fucking related? I oh, loved she, him. Uh, <laughs> him was Derek? Uh, yeah, yeah, from a different Sprouts, and they're like, oh, yeah. Brother. Eric worked at Sprouts. I didn't know that. Yeah, he was like yeah. one of the managers. Yeah. Was Dan- he also receiving? No. He- no. I I think it's like a, one of the store managers. Right? I, oh, okay. I I forgot what his first spot was, but then he moved to Dairy, and then he moved to like fourth, and now he's a third. It's your turn. I know. I'm following in his footsteps. Next in line. He's just like such a calm, chill guy. Oh no, he at, wasn't. At when, work though. At when work, when, oh. when he uh first worked in uh Dairy. I heard some stories of like he would be fucking screaming in the back and like talking shit. of shit around. I, I yeah. see that actually. Yeah, because he uh, he was a drinker and <laughs> and a fiend. <laughs> <laughs> One night, <laughs> <laughs> nah, but uh, <laughs> he, that's a that's a, that's a sly reference. We watch movies. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's, that's when you just go to your One night, I got this guy. <laughs> You want to know how I got these pallets in here? <laughs> he was throwing uh, gallon jugs. <laughs> oh, he came home with the soy. <laughs> so then he came at me with the butter. <laughs> oh, God. And I, he just kept churning. <laughs> Why so lactose intolerant? <laughs> Why so lactose? <laughs> oh, God. Uh, <laughs> fuck. So uh, where are you working now, Pam? Um, on the to... corner, <laughs> selling her body because that's all she's good for. Oh, you think someone paid us? That's actually a compliment. That was almost a compliment. Nah, you give that shit up for free. Uh, <laughs> you just take tips. <laughs> oh, Taking <thank> tips, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hey, oh. In your window. Good job, guys. Fuck <laughs> 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 you, too. Where do you work now, Pam? <laughs> Come on, answer the fucking question. Wait, wait, can I, can I answer it for her? Go yeah. ahead, go ahead. So, as a standard black woman like mm-hmm. they do, mm-hmm. she has no job. <laughs> <laughs> On that welfare, huh? I got a Welfare fire, monkey. So, uh, unemployment <laughs> and financial aid is my life. Right now. This fucking podcast, I can't. It's fine because she's black, so I'm allowed to, you know, use stereotypes. And he's just black enough. You know why you don't go <laughs> to the theaters? Because you're too loud, that's why. <laughs> I'm loud. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh. Something back like, no, it's because of white boys with guns like you. <laughs> he's, 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 like, he's like my nephew. He's like just black enough. <laughs> he's just black enough black to be able enough, to say huh? it. No, like my sister's pregnant. I was like, Brandon, I'm not black. Are you? He's like, I'm black. Okay. I was like, I know. I just want to know. Like, <laughs> I'm, like, I'm, not, I'm like, I'm not, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm just saying. That's not like, how I respond. Man. That's just, I'm you black. Okay. okay? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not yeah. how you're, you got, you're like ready to be like, oh, like battle it out with me. I was like, no, I was just asking. <laughs> I put on <laughs> my do rag real, real <laughs> yeah, quick. I, I was like, oh God. I was like, uh-huh. calm the fuck down. I just want to know because I feel like that's a, you're exactly the color of my my favorite movie is Don't Be a Menace, okay? Back off. <laughs> it's actually Boys in the Hood, you fucking oh, piece of sorry. shit. <laughs> Lawrence Fishburne is my idol. <laughs> and my dad. <laughs> Speaking of Lawrence Fishburne, have you Is that why you love The Matrix so much? <laughs> <laughs> it all comes together. <sighs> <sighs> but yeah, no, I was like, black enough, no. I'm, I'm sure, is my standard response. And I explained, you're like, oh, okay, I was like, mm. Yeah, I'm not trying to insult your blackness. Calm down. Really? Because it seems like it. No, no, that's just your personality I'm trying to insult. Just your being. What do you yeah, mean? your ancestors have nothing to do with you being shitty. Yeah, exactly. If you're just a terrible person just by yourself. <laughs> God, that's 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 some good insulting right there. It's nothing to do with the centuries of breeding and love. It's you. <laughs> Fuck. You're the anomaly. <laughs> the anomaly. Just like a matrix. <laughs> We're back at Ah, <laughs> uh, Pam, are you 100% black? Because you seem like half piece of shit. Oh, that was good. <laughs> Thank you. Good I job. thought about that all last night. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm going to fucking get her. You should see my notebook. 
Just scribble out shit. <laughs> no, that doesn't work. Fuck. You're all, I've already called her a black cunt. No, I'm mean, <laughs> black. Oh my god. But are you? No, I'm actually I'm 75 percent black and 25 percent white. So mm. that's why I'm, I'm just, you know. Nice. Yeah, most most people who are mixed though can tell that I'm like something else. They still know what. It's just enough. Wow. When I saw you though, I knew you were mixed. I could tell by your hair. A lot of folks just think I'm Jewish. Or, oh, like the, oh, the Jewish. Yeah. Laheim. Yo, Brandon. <laughs> Where's your yarmulke, boy? Do you guys have, like, the dreidel thing for <laughs> Hanukkah? Yeah. Um, Would you like some of this bread? This, uh, what is the... the uh, e- Ezekiel oh, bread? Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I know it well. Um, I'm pretty sure I've said this on the podcast before, but my sister when we were in high school, was asked, like, um, for the newspaper. Oh, that's my favorite story. Yeah. Yeah? yeah was... Okay. All right. Then I don't need to say it. Yeah, I laughed at that one. It was good. Yeah. It, it was so annoying. It was I so laughed. Annoying. Brandon, you're Jewish? No, I'm not fucking Jewish. <laughs> Fuck off. But your sister said. <laughs> my sister is retarded. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Um, I got to go to the bathroom. Okay. So you guys hold, hold down the fort. Spooky ghost. Already, huh? Spooky. Halloween's coming. I in. was just, I was just gonna say. That's why I'm even here today. Spooky right? season. Sp- Prep it up, Pam. Spooky seasonings. <laughs> What's the most spooky, uh, the spookiest seasoning you have in your pantry, Pam? Pumpkin pie spice. Ew, no, I don't like. You're pie. not a fan of the pumpkin spices. You know, um, not to bring back to race because that seems like what this is heavy on right now. No, uh, <laughs> sweet, sweet, sweet potato pie is usually what my family eats. Oh, usually, nice. Usually a southern thing. Oh, yeah, pumpkin pie is not my thing. I have, it has to be made right for me to like dig into a pumpkin pie. Is it like the cinnamon you like? Or I don't know. Or, uh, I just pumpkin tastes good. Can I say this is the whitest conversation I think I've ever had? It's, intense, yeah. it's, great. it's great. It's great. I love it. Pumpkin pie. Yeah. Sweet potato pie is really good. It is. Um, my mom she like bakes from scratch. So. Do you do the marshmallows on top? I uh, know. So that that's two ways you can make it. That's more of like a candy jam. But some recipes will have you do marshmallow on okay. top. But if it's made good, you don't really need it. Yeah. It's more of like a, its own thing. Yeah. 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 It doesn't really like enhance the pie if it's if it's actually good. You know, I'm actually mixed as well. Ah. What yeah. Do- I'm a I'm Filipino and white. Oh, nice. Yeah. People can't tell at all. No. Right. It's crazy. Not at all. Yeah, you can't tell. No, if you had said you got a little Jewish in you, maybe I'd be like, <laughs> <Jewish>. <laughs> got a little Jew in you. Uh, I'd be yeah. like, all right. <laughs> I, I'm I'm really into those uh, Judd Apatow movies for some reason. I can't tell why. <laughs> Who's Why? Filipino in your family? Everyone. Oh. Yeah, pretty much everyone. Okay. Everyone's like mixed oh, okay. or full Filipino. It's crazy. It's funny because you don't. I wanna... look like a white man from Wyoming. <laughs> you do. Goddamn Oki. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. I live in the, the middle of the country. I work on a on a dairy farm. Howdy. <laughs> Howdy. I sell, I sell cheeses on the side. That was a really fast bathroom break. Did you wash your hands? Yeah, I washed. Feel them. Sh- what does that mean? I'll get down on that. I mean, you're supposed to smell them. You feel it? You feel that? Slightly damp. Yeah, it's, it's like piss. It's exactly. Oh, it's like God. a pee. Yeah. <laughs> your hands are really warm. <laughs> <laughs> Brandon, what's the spookiest spice? The spookiest spice? Probably nutmeg because you can get high off of it. But also, can you? Can you? That's fascinating. Yeah, uh, I think Malcolm X did that in prison. I've I've been told. But you have to smoke the nut. Like I don't think you can smoke it ground up. Have you ever smoked a nut, Brandon? <laughs> I've smoked my nut. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Semen in my mouth. Oh, your own or others? <laughs> others, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> What's up, Herb? <laughs> Herb spices. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> ah, you get that shit? Even I didn't get it. <laughs> I'm subconsciously smart. <laughs> He's losing it. I'm subconsciously smart. <laughs> Fuck off. I'm so smart. I have to repress my <laughs> intellect. Oh, oh boy. Yeah. So that I don't intimidate others. And I stutter because my brain moves so fast. My mouth can't keep keep up. My thoughts are that's, going to that's my That's the bottleneck, bottleneck, your mouth. <laughs> I, I, I love boobies. <laughs> There's so many words coming out, I can't keep up. <laughs> Ugh, spooky season. Pam, you got spooky shit, right? Wait, hold on. I have a question for Shut up. What's the... Good transition. <laughs> Beautiful transition. What's the one film you watched as a kid that fucked you up because it was too scary? 
Mine was Amityville Horror. Uh, the Ry- no, Ryan Reynolds re- re- remake. Yeah, where, that, that where, had some spooky uh, he's scenes. like a fighter pilot, and then he gets like a green ring, and he goes to space, and he has like a lantern. And... Oh, I get it, because he was in that, that one too, yeah. yeah. Or is it the one where he's fat, and he likes his friend, and then he leaves, and he becomes super skinny? And Just Friends is actually a really good That's movie. That's a super good fucking movie. <laughs> Fuck love... yeah. Yeah. Have, uh, you, Have seen you seen it? Just Friends? Great flick. No. What the fuck, Pam? I don't, uh. You're missing out, dude. Missing out hardcore. Anna Ferris is so good in that fucking movie. <laughs> Tyla. I actually wish she was in more movies, but she's really... Have you guys seen a uh, happy face? Smiley face? Is that the one where she's like a stoner? She's Yeah, she's a stoner. She eats a whole tray of fucking oh, edible I have cupcakes. seen that, yes. I've seen the trailer for it. I haven't seen the movie. You haven't seen the movie? But you've seen the trailer. That's what I just... Yeah, I saw the trailer for it. So, so trailer but you right? haven't seen the movie. No, I haven't. But you saw the trailer. Yeah. But you haven't seen the movie? You know what? I've actually never seen the movie, but I have seen the trailer. <laughs> so what you're saying is you've seen the trailer, but you haven't seen the movie. Yeah. Seen, trailer. Not seen, movie. So you've seen the movie, but not the trailer? Yeah. I saw the movie trailer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> 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 Welcome to the show, Pam! <laughs> wow, what's your favorite Kevin Spacey film? What's your favorite spooky Spacey film? <laughs> spooky Spacey! Mm, no, usual Suspects is fantastic. Top notch, right? Top notch, yeah. That's a top three! <laughs> <laughs> I love the one where he touches the little boy. That's his personal life, not the actual movie, right? There's probably a movie. I'm sure. Um, <laughs> I mean... There is a lot of films where he does, like, homosexual stuff. Not saying that, like, that's uh, wrong or nothing, but it's immoral. (laughs) (laughs) I'm not against you, just your lifestyle. No, but, like, um... I'm for it, but I just don't want it around me. (laughs) I don't want to see it. I don't want to be around it. No, there's... What do you do? I just want to watch it. I want to watch it and have no one know about it. <laughs> exactly. And then judge folks for doing the same thing. Exactly. No, but there's a American Beauty. Oh, he, is he, that... That's more of the neighbor dad, though, not him. But, yeah, yeah, but he still, like, makes out with a dude. And? Like, my point is, is he takes part... <laughs> he's like, and, because you guys have done that, and he's like, dude. That's, that's not gay. It's not gay. What's wrong with that? <laughs> you said you liked it. <laughs> But, like, there's there's that and House of Cards. There's, like, I think there's, like, two scenes. Yeah, it's like a, that's, like, a threesome, though, right? With a- there's a threesome, and then it hints that he had, like, a gay relationship in mm. college. House of Cards is basically Kaiser so, so in politics. It's, oh. uh, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Interesting. It was a good series, but... Drags on. Yeah, once, once you get to the third season, it's kind of hard to watch. You and this fucking mic. I got it. Are you sure? Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, what's uh, one spooky film that fucked fucked me up as a child? Ooh. Maybe maybe the first one I ever saw, Child's Play three. Oh, hmm. I was gonna say yeah, Chucky. Yeah, that was it's not one. the best Chucky movie, but I I, vi- I vividly remember the ending where he gets chopped up by like a giant fan, and it's so gory. Oh. And I mu- I must have been like six. And I was like, oh, what? You can do that? <laughs> Fans can do that? Never looked at the fan the same again. <laughs> um, there was another one. Oh, do you know the uh, skeleton dude from Tales from, from the Crypt? Okay. Yeah. yeah. That would fuck me up when I would see, see that on uh, TV. Yeah, that was a little creepy. That's, That's a good show. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Didn't they come out with a movie or was that yeah, Tales yeah, from the Hood? Yeah. <laughs> That's weird, that. No, there's there's it a there is Tales from the Hood, but yeah. there also is a movie. Yeah. Pam so. confirmed because she's black <laughs> and she knows. Just in case you guys didn't know, um I'm black. Hey everyone, uh guess what? Pam's black. black. Deal with it. <laughs> <laughs> Deal with it. Some, like, people are writing in, can't have black people on your show. I can't believe you would have Pam on the episode today. That's uh wrong. <laughs> All lives matter, Brad. <laughs> you All can't just All black. podcasts matter, fellas. <laughs> um. You can't just do that. <laughs> But, okay, back to spooky season time. Skeletons and bones, pumpkins and uh, stuff. Pam had stories from shit. Oh, no, I just wanted to get on the podcast. You <laughs> fucking lied to me? I've never worked there before in my I, life. I don't even know what that is. Pam, are pumpkins scary? No. It's 
question. I don't think about anyone ever asked me that question. When you, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, am I supposed to go somewhere with that? No. They scare me because I'm like, what if they get stuck in my butt? And then I think about it, and it scares me. <laughs> and then I, you know, because I'm around them a lot, and I don't want them what to be I, in my butt. What if I fall down? <laughs> but first. It's funny you're mentioning pumpkins, though, because SNL last night, they uh, were talking about, there's a skit about them fucking pumpkins, and I was like. Nice. That's not a skit. I was like, I think that's real life. I think Did you guys see the Kanye thing? Yeah. What's the Kanye thing? Uh, last, what? not not this week, last, last week. Last weekend, yeah. He uh, he was the musical guest and uh, oh did he do do some shit? He did like a speech what after the show. A fucking rock? How do you? What? You didn't hear about this? It's everywhere. No. It's everywhere. Yeah. No. He had the MAGA hat on. It was going off. So talk about like repealing the Thirteenth Amendment. You know. He said that. Wait, <laughs> what? He was talking <laughs> about the part where it's like slavery's banned except for like punishment as like prison. He said it afterwards. We'll yeah. See if that's what he really meant. That's what, uh, yeah. At first he was like, abolish the 13th I, Amendment. And then he came back and like, that's not what I meant. And then he was like, um, amend the 13th Amendment. <laughs> <sighs> and I was like, well, Kanye, where is your Think about how ba- <laughs> he posted that with a picture of him wearing the MAGA hat in his private jet or whatever. Yeah. And he's like, abolish the 13th Amendment. <laughs> I was like, oh, this is beautiful. It's like a fever dream. <laughs> <laughs> fever dream? Oh. What is, like... What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh, man. That shit he said about, like, I mean, you were slavery on- was, was a choice. That was, like... You know, when I watched that whole thing, though, I was kind of like, yeah, you're, like, a mental illness, though. So I'm like, someone give him his medication. Someone just get him away yeah, from... I- take a break. Yeah, he deleted all his social media, like... Oh, yesterday, yeah. yeah. So Fucking good. Hopefully he'll just get back Fuck. Home. I, like, can kind of... I can kind of see what he was trying to say. Like, it was like a mental thing. Yeah, but, afterwards, but wait, what? What was a mental? I think that thing? was like a, like the slavery was a choice thing, but it's like it's so poorly worded. What? Well, yeah. Wait, what? What? Do, what do you mean by by mental thing? Like after slavery was abolished, people were still like mentally enslaved. I guess that was his reasoning. Oh, I thought he was saying like the whole act of it, like. I thought I thought his point was like there was so much of them that they could have rebelled, like at at the time, like they outnumbered the, the slave too. owners. You guys are getting your Kanye stories mixed up right now. You're talking about the first time he's talking the, about the the TMZ thing, yeah, right? He's talking about. So oh, see, I'm fucking up. Yeah, yeah. See, I'm <laughs> there's talking. So there's too Kanye, much shit. There's too Kanye much shit. slave stories. I know. So it's <laughs> hard to keep up. It's like fucking. he's obsessed or something. Kim needs to like lock him in the house. <laughs> Just fucking block him away for a bit. Let him calm down. God damn. Like, he needs a little timer on his phone. It's like, take your medication, 2.30 every Who, who's day. Who's that dude on SNL that's dating Ariana Grande? Pete Davidson. He, Keith Davidson. Keith, <laughs> Pete, Pete Davidson. Keith Davidson is dating <laughs> Ariana Grande. Can you imagine? Yes, I could. His voice is so nice. He has such a nice voice. He's, he's such a nice man. <laughs> Wasn't he in a, vid- a video game? What was Fucking he in? Halo. He played the Arbiter. Yeah, and um, that dude from Modern Warfare Two, Ramirez. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He wasn't in Mass Effect, was he? I'm pretty sure he was. Pam does not know what we're talking about because she's a girl, and girls don't play video games. That's right. Their skin so boils know. up when they touch the controller. <laughs> yeah. That's why she gave a uh, herb shit for Fortnite. No, I actually don't care. You know? I, actually, the beginning of our relationship, I mean, he usually honest that he plays video games a lot of time. I was like, I don't fucking care. Herb, you play four nights. He plays everything. It, <laughs> yeah. Guilty. <laughs> I've only played one match of it. Not a, not, like a, it. not a fan. I don't it's it's hard to get behind the the style. Like, I don't mind the style. It's just I'm not I'm not really into the building aspect of it that much. That, oh that my part God. is weird. God, yeah. that's the I don't, best part. No, it's not. It's <laughs> fucking worse. <laughs> no, no, no. The worst part is people fucking like be hopping doing shotguns and shit. That's the worst oh, yeah, part. That, that's just, you know. No, the worst part is when uh kids play and they're like does anybody have a mic? Does anybody have a mic? And you're like, shut the fuck up. My nephew's in town, and I forget that he's that age. Like, because I knew him before Fortnite came out, and when I see young, young kids now, they're just flossing and talking about dumb shit. Yeah. And, like, we're playing... Like, dumber than what you say? or <sighs> Yeah, surprisingly. Well, okay, it's just want clarity. They learn it from Fortnite. <laughs> <laughs> we were playing uh, COD, and he kept buying the fucking scar and he was like i got the le- legendary scar and i was like wrong game wrong game he was like you 
you you should build in this. Like like he's mixing his shit up and like he asked he asked me if I had Fort Fortnite, if I had fucking Roblox. Roblox. Yes. Yeah. No. Oh, fuck. Oh, so like mm, I I want to like throw him away. Your he's, nephew. He's, he's fucking away. ruined. He's ruined. Send it back. Send it back. It'll just be like a what's what's 12 12 times 9? A hundred and eight month ab- 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 abortion, oh, right? Pam, what are your thoughts? Twenty <laughs> fourth term abortion. That's for perfectly it. fine. Totally, for me. go for it. It's fine. Yeah, just th- throw him in the dump. Like, just give me the vacuum. I'll just vacuum it right now. <laughs> <laughs> vacuum him, <laughs> <laughs> Mama. No. <laughs> Fortnite and TF two, Overwatch. Although I have not played that. Overwatch is fun. I just like the fast-paced gameplay. It's not really my thing. It's fun to like play every like for like a thirty-minute block. It's fun. Ashley really yeah. likes that game. Yeah, I feel like some games, if you didn't get in while the gotta, getting was good, it, you gotta give it a chance. But then, like with fucking Fort Fortnite and shit, like there's folks who play that know how to play, and if you go in, you're not gonna have a fun time for the first like month or like few weeks. The meta's and- too great. Yeah, and that's I'm, how Overwatch kind of is. You need it sometime. You, uh, fucking CS:GO was the worst, and I still can't play that game right. I remember when we played that for a long mm, time. That was like 2000 summer 2016 or 15. No, no, bef- yeah, fifth, 14, 15, 16. Yeah, okay. yeah. God damn, it was so fucking. Trash. Everyone was just angry all the time. Salt. <laughs> you, and Ale- you and Alex especially. I remember I would play with you guys and just be like, hey, "Come on, we don't have to be angry." Yeah. Alex was both of you guys were on tilt like he would get mad and then you would get mad because he was mad which would make him more mad <laughs> well and he doesn't just accept shit like he likes to blame people and mm-hmm. he'll blame me because he can't blame you because you're too nice so I fire back because I don't take his shit because I know he's he, he's he's a bitch and you're not on Thank either you for side in, inside the podcast if well, it goes on behind the scenes here yeah intense. Actually, on the last one we just uploaded, there is our first argument on air. Yeah. It, it was more of a discussion. It wasn't... Or was it, like... I oh, it, it's, I it, it's, it it's tinged it's in, t- like, an argument. Yeah. It's like, it's Edit, like a good editing it though. hurt. Because uh. <laughs> I was like... Like, maybe a third party won't feel it, but I did, because I was there. Yeah. So it's like... Ugh. And that's why I don't listen to any of our podcasts. <laughs> Seriously though, I have not heard a single one, Pam. <laughs> he's a he's a great participant in this. It's like actors who make films but don't watch it. I'm gotcha. like Shia LaBeouf. <laughs> oh, is that I don't watch my own films. Boy, I don't know. Like, guess- Pam, what's your favorite Shia LaBeouf movie? Holes. One of his only thing he's ever really done. Dig oh. it up, uh, uh, Dig. <laughs> have you guys read the book? Because the book yeah. is objectively better. I think yes. they're both they're both good in their own right. Exactly, they're different yeah. but good. Is your favorite character Zero or X Ray? No, it has to be Sam. Who the fuck is Sam? I can fix that. <laughs> <laughs> Every fucking time. Oh, I can fix. I that. forgot about it. And then him. she's crying, and he grabs her hand. Like, I, I can fix that. that. <laughs> ah, fuck! All those years, just <laughs> waiting, planting the seed in her head, so he could plant his seed in her. Oh my. In her bed. Oh, yeah. She has a penis. <laughs> plot twist. <laughs> <laughs> the great holes plot twist. The teacher has a dick. <laughs> uh, Pam. Story time. Tell us some spooky shit. Okay, so I worked at Winchester. Great. Can, All right. Can you, uh, <laughs> yeah. can you tell us what the Winchester Mystery House is? For out of state listeners. <laughs> For all our listeners in You're New 20, Zealand. <laughs> 20. So it was this uh, mansion built by Sarah Winchester, who was, you know, a little crazy. She had all this money from Winchester Rifles and had all this death in her family, and she thought that the ghosts were haunting her. Yeah, just fuck with the mic more. Fucking Christ. <laughs> Go on. This is all Alex's fault, I just want to say. <laughs> yeah. His mic's retarded. His mic is retarded. Anyway, she moves to San Jose, and she, she builds this mansion. And it makes no sense. There's doors that lead to nowhere. You can go visit it, by the way. Sausage. Don't chill out for them. Yeah, you don't owe them a dime. I don't. I didn't like working there. But. <laughs> <laughs> go on. Yeah, go on. 
yeah, anyways. And so she built this mansion. And, you know, if you believe in ghosts, I don't know. I don't necessarily do, but I will say working there, I definitely was like, huh. <laughs> was there like a weird vibe? Definitely. I actually was going to talk about that. It definitely has this weird energy. I call it like the snow globe effect where like the workers that helped maintain the house, when you're working there, it's all about the house and there's really no outside world. It's very weird energy and like all the employees, most of them are obsessed with working there. They all hang out together. They spend all their time there. It's very Maybe weird. Maybe they're ghosts. Fucking cult. <laughs> yeah, it's just like you just, it's just all about the house. It's very weird when you're like behind the scenes working mm. there. And... um so it's like a bunch of uh, Julians, like they they're just there on their days days off, like like <laughs> they yeah. take the tour yeah, on their like days a, off. They have like events there where you can like have like private tours and weddings, and sometimes some of the people will like help out and like volunteer or, like get extra overtime. I'm like, you just gonna work the twelve hours out here, I'm, like <laughs> fucking whack job. <laughs> <I'm>, like <laughs> break in and I sleep in all the rooms. <laughs> like, fucking Christ! Like I was like, I gotta go. I gotta fuck out of here. Like I'm off. Bye. But it wasn't like that. People like love it, and it's. It's interesting because, like, you hear, like, crazy stuff about Sarah Winchester because she was, like, nuts. But I will say she did treat her workers really well. Like, they got free room and board and a paycheck. And that's unheard of back then. Mm -hmm. So Enough rooms in the house to do it. (laughs) Yeah. And so, like, even after she died, the workers stayed on, like, a year afterwards. Oh, nice. Working in the house. So most people, if you're asked the workers, do you think, you know, Sarah Winchester's still haunting it? It's like, no, we actually think it's, like, the servants and the maintenance crew that's, like, hanging around. Um, I gotta, I gotta keep that room, baby. I mean, where it's like all the stories I have to have like three of them. I have like small, two small ones and like one bigger one. Um, this like happened to people that I directly work with or mm-hmm. someone who used to work there. Mm-hmm. So <laughs> the first one is uh, we have a a guy told me he works in group sales. He's worked there since like the eighties. And What's group sales? So group sales is the ones that puts on the events. So oh, like okay. if Apple wanted to like tour and have a dinner. Okay. So a lot of times these are people that actually lock up the mansion. Um, mm-hmm. Sometimes that those events are going on. So the one I have you told me early in the morning was his former boss. They had one of those events and he had to lock up the house for the night. So he does all the steps, locks all up. Parts of the house have been like modernized. We can like turn off the light switch. But then some of them... Oh shit! Are you fucking serious? I, I had it on. Don't you disturb. had it on? Right. You know what? Forget. I'm just, I'm just gonna go home. <laughs> it's on. Don't disturb. And everything's silent. And my mm-hmm. alarm still mm-hmm. went off. Mm-hmm. Do you want to mess the mic somewhere where I got it? Fucking piece of shit, you. <laughs> fuck. Anyways, Pam, go on. Before you were rudely interrupted fuck. by this unprofessional fuck. fuck. Fucking shit. And uh, yeah, he's going through the house. He's turning everything off. He's turning off all the lights that have like the big clicker. There's this one in the hallway where it's like a really giant string and you have to like click it. It makes a really loud noise. He turns it off. He locks up. He walks to the parking lot and he turns around and he like looks up and he's like, damn, I thought I turned that light off. I need to make sure I turn it off because you're supposed to like shut up the house. It's part of like his routine. Right. So he goes back in. He unlocks everything. Fuck. He goes and he <laughs> goes to the hallway and he clicks it again. And he's like, okay, hey, cool. And he goes back. He goes back to the car. He looks back. The light's on again. Fuck. Yes. Yeah. And then he's like, okay. He's like, well, like, I'm, I'm just, he just does uh, it a third time. He does the same thing. He clicks it off. He stands there for a sec. He's like, okay, it's off. I'm good. He walks out looking towards the light. Yeah, the light's on. So, uh, <laughs> and this is the thing, like, that's the, like, back then the house is like, you know, there's like nighttime security, but that's it. There's no workers hanging around. Like, when it's right. time for the night, it's, done. it's just security. And security wasn't doing any checks, like, at that time. So he's like, all right. You know, I'm just going to leave it on. I'll leave it on. <laughs> He's like, I'm not fucking going in there. He's like, Cle- <laughs> clearly they want it on, and I'm not going to, like... I'm not going to fuck with that. Yeah, and that's, the, that's what's funny about working there, is, like, all the employees have that vibe of where they just, like, you know, let the spirits yeah. do, do, do their thing. Do your thing. Do, do your, your thing. thing. We're not going to fucking, like, disturb you. I have this one employee who I used to work with. She's one of my favorites. Uh, she's one of my associates. thought I was your favorite. Mm, well, I was, I was her boss, so okay. I was a supervisor. Anyway, <laughs> and she, uh, anytime she would enter like the creepy parts where we had like storage for my department, mm-hmm. she would just tell the ghost like, hey, I'm entering, I'm just showing uh, Pam where I store the whatever it was. She would like tell him. Yeah, like, you know, don't be mad because like there's this uh, thing where you can see it on the grounds when you do like a tour or just walk the courtyard for free called the Foreman's House. Mm-hmm. And he's the one that actually was in charge of like making sure all the building was happening and going on. And that's the most haunted part pretty much of the grounds because it's not just the house it's the grounds as well like the basement and mm. he is one of the there's hun- a basement 
Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck that shit. I've been in the basement. Like, most of the public doesn't really see the basement. But yeah, that's there's a, there's no tours that go in the basement, um, right? Not really anymore. You see, like, a part of it, but there's things that you won't see. Like, we have, like, storage in some parts okay. of the basement, and it's, uh, like, documented, like, ghosts down there, and they can tell you what ghost was. You can see in a picture, like, oh, yeah, that's one that's been seen. Like, it's that worker. Oh, fuck. And, like, they know the name. I don't remember his name right now, but... <laughs> fuck that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's it's... If you believe in ghosts or you, like, question it, it's definitely, once again, a place where you're, like... <laughs> <laughs> and it's weird because when you enter the foreman's house it's weird it's like you shut the door and you hear nothing from outside it's just has this weird energy where it's like I mean did I think I was going to see a ghost no but I went there like looking for stuff and I'd just be like this is weird it has like a stale creepy energy in there oh, and yeah. it, and even without anyone telling you you just get in there and you're just like <laughs> I don't know what's up, what's up with this place but <laughs> but like that. yeah it, it's, it's an interesting it was so Winchester's house is a cool place to work, but of course corporate always ruins everything. And their corporate offices, of course, are right above in the house. Like the house has offices in it because oh. it's a huge mansion. It has like 161 rooms. So right. you know, makes sense to just have it there, I guess. It's right upstairs, and it's just like it gets weirdly corporate. But the idea of it is is pretty cool. So that's like the one story where he's just like, I'll leave it there, you know. And there's mm-hmm. other stories too, where there's one where. Uh, one of my workers he used to do overnight security. Mm-hmm. Now, of course, I was like, hey, what was his name? Albert. Oh. I, cause I had a friend, do you know David DeVoe? Yeah. His cousin, Julian, worked oh, okay. security there too. Oh shit. I he, didn't know that. And David did tours back in like 2013 or okay, like 14. He probably knows him cause this, this employee, he's been there for a really long yeah. time. So, um, I was like, Hey, did you ever like see anything or, you know, hear anything? He's like, you know, obviously we have that thing where we're telling you it's creepy. So you like get scared by your own shadow a lot. Yeah. You're mm-hmm. really not seeing anything. He's like, but there is one thing. He's, I was like, what? So when I work, when I work, I'm like, here we go. I'm like, what? So if you go on the tour now, it should be back there, um, the piano. But I, when I was working there, it was under restoration. Mm. And this piano has been documented for, since she's died, basically, of, of like playing by itself. And it's not a self-playing piano. Like you can hear the music, you can hear it be played. And Like entire songs you'll just hear? Yeah, I would just hear a couple of notes like go. And there's no one, no one there. And like, you know, it's, it's been like, and I'm like, he's like the piano. I'm like, shut up. Have you heard that? He's like. Let me tell you. He's like, I've been doing overnights, doing my checks. Um, obviously, I can't tell you what those are because, you know, I sign agreements. But he that, does That's like, an NDA, <laughs> the spookiest part of the story. Well, that, well, we do have one working there. We're not allowed to, like, talk about certain things. But, like, you know. Off the air, off the air. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, and he's like, I'm walking through the house, and he's like, I hear the piano play. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? He's like, you know, I'm doing a check by myself. So there's no one else in the house. He's like, I'm like, are you kidding me? He's, and he's like, yeah, I hear, I hear it play. He's like, and that wasn't the first time. He's like, every once in a while, I would hear it, like, uh. hear, like, a few notes, a few, hear, like, a few things. And he, I was like, Jimmy, go in the room. He's like, fuck, no, I ain't go in the, <laughs> no, I ain't go in the room. He's like, once again, that idea of, like, so they're so weird there, like that. I'm just gonna respect what the ghost. Yeah, he would do I'm not trying to fuck with that. Yeah, exactly. But yeah, he would hear the uh, piano play. Fuck. Yeah. Man, I'm just trying to like rationalize if that paycheck is worth it at that point. <laughs> <Just> fuck, <laughs> spooky. Yeah, um, is 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 the pay like high there? Since it's kind of like a. Um, it's gotten better to be honest okay, that's with you. Good. Um, as oh, so when he, <laughs> so it's the last 15 years. Terrible management, horrible. They finally got uh, started to get the right corporate people in. They mm-hmm. hired this is public knowledge too. The guy who uh, helped run Winchester Mister House actually used to run um, Club Thirty Three in Disneyland. Oh so, shit! So he's super professional. So I don't like, know what that is. Club Thirty Three. It's like that uh, privatized <laughs> club in Disneyland. Yeah, it's, it's like a secret club. Basically. I've never even been to Disneyland. It's like a it's like a little <laughs> restaurant area kind of thing going and you, on. You have to like know someone to get in or be super rich, and it was around when Walt Disney was around. It's like it's a super big deal, and they have like special events. It's like one of the only places on Disneyland property that sells oh, alcohol. That's correct. Mm. And it's like really hard to get into. Um, and he ran all those events, so he was handpicked to go work work there, and he did. Um, actually. Walt Disney got inspired by the Haunted Mansion mm-hmm. from parts of Winchester. Mr. Oh, oh I didn't know yeah, that. Yeah, there's like there's Disney t- some Disney ties. Um, also, the terrible movie that came out this year. The Helen Mirren one? Yeah. I, mean, I was going to mention that. It, it, I was was it bad? I haven't seen it. Oh, it was the first movie of the year. <laughs> Fuck! But the thing about that is actually um, parts that were filmed there. Um, I decided to take my time off there because I didn't care. Right. <laughs> I'm not into the whole Hollywood thing, but it was like a big deal. And we had to do like another non-disclosure like agreement uh, before it came out and stuff because i mean yeah it was like a big deal um I don't know if I got oh um anyways but yeah so 
uh, management, new management. Oh, yeah. Because I asked about pay. Oh, yeah, yeah pay. And, um, yeah, and so, like, since they've kind of, like, updated and, like, now they get paid, like, they get paid a lot better. Basically, minimum wage in Santa Clara was, like, 15 bucks. Right. Oh, nice. Yeah, do, so do they consider that, like, a hazardous job since it's spooky specters and whatnot? Um, spooky specters. It depends. So, like, uh, it's broken up into departments. So, I worked, uh, I was a supervisor for the gift shop and ticketing. My part, um which is public knowledge, is not part of the house. That was added on later on. Oh, okay. So the tourist department has a whole different set of rules, you know? And mm. they're the ones that are obviously the most obsessed with the house because they mm-hmm. know the ins and outs. I knew parts of the house because I had a special, like, role where I had to, like, watch over the, like, the whole thing. It was for the property, so, like, I had access to everywhere. Okay. But, um... Feel fucking special? No, I fucking, <laughs> fucking hated it. <laughs> they're like, oh, okay, so if there's a fire or someone has a heart attack, you're the one that like, calls that one. What, <laughs> what the fuck? I was like, uh, you guys did not tell me that during my job interview. Can you, no, can no, you bump up you. my page just a little uh, smidge for that? I was like, uh, no, I don't want any part of that. <laughs> fuck. Yeah, no. <laughs> uh, no. So, yeah, the pay's gotten a lot better. The work environment's a lot more smoother. Um, yeah. Actually, Herb's mom still works there. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah. Dope. Yeah. So she she loves. Is she a ghost? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Herb is not. Imagine nodding. if they hired on people to like just up the ante. Oh. We need you to play a ghost. You know that's the thing. Like, people go on this tour like how, like on all these expectations. Obviously, we do it during the day. Yeah, I remember when I was a kid, uh, my dad took me there, and I was like, "Oh fuck, it's spooky! It's a haunted thing!" Yeah, and it's just a normal tour. It's, just, it's a Victorian mansion, you know. I would say if you really are wanting that creepy experience. You do the candlelight overnight tours. Yeah, those look cool. Those are cool. The flashlight tours or whatever. I did a night tour last fall, and I don't think it was the candlelight, mm-hmm. but it was at night. And, and it, it's, it was, it's, it's supposed to be better. Um, I will say the public isn't going to see anything. It's the workers that... Oh, yeah, because they're there more often. They see and... the stories, and like um, I've had... <laughs> These are like other stories, but like people have like stolen rocks from the property or like plants and like, or like, yeah, rocks and like little, big rocks, like little, I don't know, like to, rocks worth stealing. Like, yeah, ro- just to have like a trinket from Winchester uh, Mystery yeah. House. Boulders. And <laughs> we've had like a special mailing department where they like mail it back. I'm mean, like, uh, no, like there's a lot of bad luck. Like weird stuff happened after I took this here, take it back. Wait, what? Yeah. Like that's, yeah, that's happened many times in the years. People are like, oh, I shouldn't have fucking took this. Here you go. You guys take it back. Or it's kind of controversial. Like some people were upset that we we're selling it like pieces from the house and like mm-hmm. this little frame like a nail and a piece of the wallpaper in a frame you can mm. buy it for like 300 bucks or whatever fuck that you know. i'd steal it <laughs> i'd steal it before i buy it <laughs> <laughs> oh, you would get caught but uh but people like, try me <laughs> some people would uh they would like buy these picture frames and we had a couple of them return they're like mm, no this, wow. this is uh no so you know don't take anything from Winchester. <laughs> Fuck that. Yeah, yeah. Jesus. It, it's just that kind of thing where it just attracts like weird stuff and like crazy people. Bad yeah, juju. Well, I don't know. Like uh, back in the 80s, like it's in the newspaper, like someone killed themselves at Winchester Mystery House and like their body was found like on the front porch and they like, yeah. <laughs> actually, one of the workers who found him actually still works, <laughs> still works there. Uh, yeah. He's like, she still works there, yeah. Well, I've seen it all, so. <laughs> <laughs> well, she was, she was one of the people that had that job where I had where she was the one where she's like, fuck, I better call the. The owner, like the person who runs it, because I'm not trying to have be here and do interviews on the news crew. Yeah, fuck. So I was like, uh, no. I was like, yeah, you're really selling me on wanting to have this position right here. I was like, mm, no. That's insane. Yeah, you guys. Are so here. like, yeah. they they went on, they went to the house and killed themselves on like the front porch. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They the snuck f- on. They like jumped the gate. This is like way back then. Obviously, security is like different now. But There's no note left or just. What the fuck? <laughs> How with like a gun? Just like snap, snap their own neck? Oh, they did something. Yeah, they must use like a gun or something, and like they killed themselves. Yeah, on the front porch. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Fuck. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. So anyway, okay, so you guys ready for like the, the worst story? The big one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The big Let's one? do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I tell so many people this story. So I was in the break room, and of course, like most break rooms, everyone's like shooting the shit. They're talking. Of course, like always, everything goes back to the house. Right. And so one of my favorite employees leans over to the girl in the tour department. And she's like, hey, what was that story you're going to tell me that happened to you last November? She's like, oh, you guys ready for it? And everyone in the room just kind of goes silent because we're like, oh, shit, this is, <laughs> this is going to be good. And so what she does, so the tour department obviously they give tours, but also they're in charge of, like, they're certified to help, like, clean part, parts of the house and restore it. You have to be trained in it. And she's the person that kind of helps lead and do that. So she's like, yeah, um, last November, early December, it had rained the night before. And we were getting ready to decorate for Christmas because they do that as well. Mm-hmm. Um, and I was on the roof hanging lights. And Reese and um, 
the person says, help me, called out. And we're like, oh, okay. And she's, we're like, okay. And she's like, so I'm up there like at 6.30, 7 a.m. by myself. And I'm going to like hang this one little strand of lights. And I don't know if you guys have ever been there, but like the roof is kind of weird. Um, it's very like steep, right? Some parts are steep, some parts are yeah. flat that you can walk on. And she's at one of the parts where it's like flat. There's like a window and a wall behind her. Um, but the, <laughs> but it's kind of a, some parts are slanted. It's mm-hmm. kind of. It's a weird fucking house. I mean, that's the theme of it. You know what I mean? Right. And she's up there. And she's in this one little part that's kind of tricky. And she almost slips and falls off the roof. Like, she, Fuck. she like, it, it hits a wet patch. And she almost slips. And she's mm-hmm. just, like, somehow she's not sure. She kind of, like, catches herself. And she, like, falls back and lands up against this wall. And she's, like, freaked out, breathing heavy, because she pretty much just almost died yeah. <laughs> or injured herself because she's high up there and no one's around. Right. Um, and she's, like, breathing heavy. And she's, like, okay, okay. <laughs> All of a sudden, on her left shoulder... She feels a hand. She feels a hand. And we're just like, oh we're like, okay, okay. She feels like this hand and she's just like, can you feel it moving? And the way she's talking about it, this happened in November. She's telling this story in like July. And she's telling it like it just happened to her. It's like super intense. And you're just like, yeah, okay. The, uh, and she's like, I can feel it. She can like, she's like touching her shoulder. She's like, yeah, I can feel it. It's like right there. And then she's like, um, was it like massaging or just hand placing? Was it a consensual touch? <laughs> uh, it was enough to where she's like moving her hand like and I could like feel it. Like, you know, and she's like, okay, what the fuck is happening? And then she hears, are you okay? Oh! <laughs> At least the ghost cared. <laughs> yeah, no, the, nice ghost. Yeah. <laughs> are you okay? And, oh. she, and she's just like, <laughs> yes <laughs> she's like and well she's once again like they're obsessed with that she's like wants to be polite i'm like oh you're gonna be polite to a fucking ghost okay <laughs> okay <laughs> and she's like i'm i'm fine thank you you know she like tries to get those words out right and, she, and they're like <laughs> they respond by the way right the ghost responds they, they go he goes <laughs> he goes okay just let us know if you need anything oh! <laughs> and, she's, oh. and she's like She's like, what am I tell you? Snow, get the fuck away from her. But she's like, okay, thank you, thank you. <laughs> oh fuck! And it, it, <laughs> that's some like movie shit. Oh my god! And you can tell like this employee is someone who's not kind of like doesn't seem crazy. He's not out there. She's yeah, very, yeah. very responsible. Like, and she's just like, and you can tell like, and we're just in the room. The room's just silent. We're just like. Yeah. And I'm a person that doesn't believe in ghosts. I'm just like, oh shit, maybe. Like, <laughs> <laughs> That's a pretty convincing uh, argument. I was, like, I was like, fuck, I don't know if I can like logically explain that one away. I mean, yeah, she's in shock, but it's not gonna be fucking hearing well, voices. That was the one day she did crack. <laughs> <laughs> the one day she was like crack. So, and we're like, you know, and then someone brings the point, like, hey, you know, you're the one that like helps keep the house nice and restores it, mm-hmm. you know, and they probably like her. And then we th- we think the servants haunted, so maybe they're the ones that are like, hey, she helps watch over the house one of us she's one of us like let's let's have her back holy fuck and she's telling this story and it's like i like will never forget because i'm just like are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> like, that's like chills dead fuck. serious yeah yeah and uh mm. yeah. <sighs> oh boy it's a definitely an interesting place to work um it takes on a different feel behind the scenes yeah i bet fuck that jesus christ <laughs> okay. fuck all of that at least it's a nice ghost though right let's get what if it was like you dumb bitch you almost died <laughs> <laughs> almost got you there huh <laughs> <laughs> you fucking stupid no um but yeah so winchester God. yeah 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 wow that's what's cool about working there though is like you it's not just like oh this this happened to someone 40 years ago it's like oh no this happened to me last year <laughs> <laughs> or this happened to me like two years ago you're like oh kind of validates the haunted houseness of it yeah it's not not just like back in 1962 yeah i know yeah. it's definitely some and the thing about winchester mystery house is no one really knows about sarah winchester she was like a recluse so a lot right. of it is expectatory we can kind of like gauge and guess some of it's documented but she was super private so mostly they don't know <laughs> well at least we have that new uh helen mirren film to watch and learn about her life that bones me out i like her She's a good actress. Uh, that movie has nothing to do with the house whatsoever. It's just a good ghost story. There's like no. Is it just like just spooky shit that happens to be uh, in the Winchester house? Yeah, exactly. And it, it, it's just a bad movie. It got like ter- I think like Rotten Tomatoes were voted like one of the worst movies. So like, fuck yeah, <laughs> yeah. Good. Yeah. Good. Good. Uh, good PR for the city of San Jose. <laughs> the thing is, though, they didn't give a shit whether it was good or bad because they knew they were gonna make money. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know that house. I've been there. Yeah. It was spooky. And that's the thing about Winchester Mr. House, right? Like, we take it for granted living here in, like, San Jose. Right. As we get people from fucking, like, Germany that would be like, oh, I'm wanting to visit this house for years. I'm like, 
fucking know about yeah. it in Germany. Are you fucking kidding? Are people who are super into guns, you know? Um, oh, yeah, because mm. the, yeah. the rifle, yeah. Yeah, and we have, like, the they have the largest collection of Winchester rifles on the West Coast. Is um, that in the lobby, though? Um, It's kind of, like, off to the side. Okay, yeah. The Firearm Museum. And then there they have, like, handwritten letters from Sarah Winchester, mm. and they have all the rifles in there. Um, it's funny because that area too is somehow still kind of connected to the house and the offices that kind of are blocked off there have been super haunted too. Like I had <laughs> employees tell me stories of like, oh yeah, I was like, she's like, oh yeah, I used to, um, need the money. So I would sometimes do overnight security as mm-hmm. well as my day job. And sometimes I would just like nap in my office and it's one of those like five o'clock where no one's really around. And I kept hearing knocking at my door and I was like. She's like, so I would, like open the door up and like no one would be there and she's like oh I'm just gonna close that right now and just be like and finally like, she kept hearing and finally she's like hey I have to work security I'm trying to take a nap like I need you whatever it is I need you to leave me alone <laughs> I, was, like, oh, I just my. love how all these stories of people just accepting it and be like come on man that, 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 that's what I was trying to set up of like this snow globe of just like you're just encased in this world there and yeah people are just. Yeah. You get immersed in it. You really do. And like me and former employees have like talked about how it's like there is no world outside of Winchester when you work there. For uh, most people, it's just you you buy into it and you just fucking... I don't know if it's the energy it gives off to like the workers because they think workers used to haunt it, but you're all about the house. And it's not necessarily a bad thing, you know, but... Yeah, but it's it's a thing. It's a thing I'm like, oh, fuck. Yeah. <sighs> I, I wonder what... Um, people who don't believe in ghosts would say to like folks that work there or like like i mean we get all the time like i would say do i believe in ghosts now after not working there uh not i mean no not really but like it's definitely one of those things where i'm like well there might be some i'm like a little bit more open to yeah. it you know it definitely challenges it maybe not flat out ghosts but there's definitely some <laughs> kind of like, like energy thing. or yeah. something going on there yeah. like um but it's funny because I get people all the time and go, oh, so do you think, are ghosts really here? I'm like, do you fucking believe in ghosts? Why are you fucking, I don't, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Am I going to be like, oh, yeah, here's a ghost for you? Yeah. Like, why are you asking? Yeah, we actually keep them in the go, back. Why don't you come with me? <laughs> yeah, I'll come show you. Like, I would go, well, it just depends on whether you believe in it or not. But Damn, weird man. shit has happened here. Yeah. I mean, like, and ghost hunters have been there and stuff like that, you know. Have they confirmed? Uh, yeah, the they, spectral analysis. Yeah, they confirmed in areas that we've talked about. Like, um, mm. her bedroom is supposed to be super haunted, and they got like I think really high readings in her bedroom. And I mean, yeah, it's, de- <laughs> it's definitely one of those places where you know it's, it's worth a tour. <laughs> ghosts are uh, ghosts are weird. I think I would appreciate the house more because I was a kid when I went. I would appreciate it more, I think. Right. I mean, I'm Just in like, terms of like, historical value. I mean, this thing, too, it's, it's really beautifully crafted. She did some stuff that was a little trippy for the time. Mm-hmm. People kind of complain about the price, but what they don't understand is it's a mansion that's super old that's been under rest. Or it's it's on constant um, constr- like construction every day, except Christmas. They're always trying to upkeep and work something in the house. There's yeah. a full-on maintenance crew right. every day. Like Such a big place, it needs it. I mean, it's the grounds, it's like it's huge. So you have to constantly, and they don't like, understand that's what's going into like the cost of the house right yeah it's nuts um (laughs) yeah have you guys been to the mystery spot yeah i have uh, i haven't heard younger never been there can can one of you guys the house is like it's like a it's like a house thing taking people there for like their first time like i've taken so many of my friends there for like their first time so where do you have taken your fiance though I know, yeah, we always get sidetracked. Oops, you're not his friend. <laughs> Apparently not. Yeah. I love you, baby. Okay, yeah. <laughs> you don't yeah, have no, to lie it's... to her. <laughs> There's something definitely interesting going on there. It's nothing like ghosts, but, uh, I mean, trees grow weird there. Like, just how the house is built. Like, I mean, it's it's obviously, like, funhouse mirror type thing going on because you could stand people up from shortest to tallest and it doesn't and then all of a sudden the shortest person is like the tallest person in line and you're visually seeing this and then you could line them up from tallest to shortest again going the opposite way and like it's it's just they're gargantuan compared to the smallest person now they look like a midget so is it like op- <laughs> optical illusion designed or sort is it of. just like yeah. a naturally like occurring there's a part where spot. they pour water down like a like a Tube? piece of like wood and mm-hmm. then it goes the opposite direction yeah it's fucking nuts so 
I I also hear there's multiple mystery spots. Oh, are there? I didn't know that. Yeah, I... There's one up in uh, Oregon as mm-hmm. well. Um, uh, it's in between Grants Pass and Eugene. Oh, okay. Yeah. But yeah. I haven't been to that one, but I want to check that one out. That one sounds interesting. So it's not just like uh, they built this place as like a... Um, Tourist spot. Yeah, it, it's like actually weird shit yeah, goes it's down. it's just like huh. it's just weird how things are. Because like in the whole... At least for the one up in Santa Cruz, like, there's a radius around right. where it is where trees just don't grow properly or won't grow at all. Like, they'll grow bending, like, hmm. towards and away from it and stuff. It's, it's pretty cool. And, like, you can, you can just see it. Like, you'll be up on a hill and, like, trees are just like, ah, no, like this, dude. We're <laughs> yeah, so it's, it's definitely interesting when you go check it out. There's no explanation for it? It's just... Um, for the trees growing like that, nobody's come up with anything that I know of. So Damn. Some weird, like, naturally occurring, like, phenomena or something. Gravity. Magnetic fields. It's just like that black forest in Russia where there's, like, parts where the trees just have, like, those weird... Oh, yeah, the bends and, and shit. They grow straight, yeah. It's weird. Nature's weird, man. Yeah, nature's cool. Yeah. Ooh, ah, fuck, spooky shit. Speaking of spooky shit... And I you, took a poop. How spooky was that? It, that was a skeleton. In oh, it. you should probably go to the doctor. <laughs> um, Pam, you listened to the show before, right? I have. Are you familiar with our uh, sexual reads? Oh, they're fantastic. They make my day. We're actually changing it up for this month. Oh, nice. We're doing spooky reads. Okay. I, uh, I found some stories. Can I still read it in a sexy yeah, voice? Yeah, if you want to. Absolutely. I found some uh, spooky stories. Oh, I think we have okay. two long ones. The rest are kind of short. Um... Yes, sir. we're just going to go through it. Brandon, you want to go first? Show Pam how we do it. I'll show her how it's done. All right. Have at it. Uh, any of them? Yeah, the ones that have spooky and brackets. Okay. Um, which one is the long one? Does... It says long. In the... It's spelled L-O-N-G. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, Pam. <Bill. laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do road trip. All right. In California up through Washington. We rented a van from Escape Vans that had a bed, sink, and mini fridge. We didn't have stops planned or where to stay most of the time, so one night as it was getting late, decided to stop in the small town to find a neighborhood and sleep. Once we found a decent place, we set up the bed and laid down. This was around 10 p.m. Not 20 minutes later, we see lights from a car pulling up behind us. A minute later, I look out the window from behind the curtains to tell my boyfriend another car has pulled up alongside us. He immediately jumped into the front seat and started the car. As he was doing so, another car turned the corner and was trying to park right in front of us, blocking us in. We nope the fuck out of there. (laughs) Sketchiest and most heart-pounding situation I've ever been in. Not sure what their intent was, but it wasn't going to be good. Uh, I feel like they're just going to get raped. I don't know if that's spooky. Fuck that. Yeah. Fuck that. I mean... Fuck that. Yeah. Well, these these aren't really, like, spooky, spooky, but it's like... Very Ooh. nopey. Yeah, very <laughs> nopey. nopey. Nope. nope. Would nope. you like to go next, uh, Pam? Sure. With like a Let short, her fail. Like a shorter one. Shut the fuck up. Fuck that, dude. Yeah, the whole getting boxed in shit. Yeah. I think that's a long one. Hold on. I, it's my day off. I'm not trying to read, you know? You don't try to read on <laughs> your days on. Do you know how to read, Pam? No, it's my so, cover. I don't know how to read. I wear these glasses <laughs> to, to trick people. <laughs> <laughs> They're all super long. Okay. Are long. they too too long for you, Pam? <laughs> short attention too many words. The short attention span. Okay. ADS. Can you shut the fuck up? Oh, I'm sorry. Am I distracting you? <laughs> you are. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, walkie talkies. Okay. Right and right into the mic, Pam. Okay. I used to play with walkie talkies a lot for a period, running around with friends and siblings. And all that. However, on the rare occasion, you could pick up a random radio signal, like a police car or trucker, but generally just static. My childhood house is right alongside a considerably large woods. I don't like the way the word that. No trails or anything. It's sparse, sparse area with many houses around, so no one goes in there besides occasional hunter. Well, one mm-hmm. afternoon. Kid me is out in the yard. Kid me. Kid me. Okay. <laughs> Kid me is out in the yard shooting the shit, playing around with one of my better walkie talkies. I have it on scan mode, so flipping through all 20 channels looking for traffic. 
Suddenly it stops on a channel and voices start coming through. One voice sounds like an older, middle-aged man. The other, a younger male voice. Sex party. (laughs) (laughs) That was me and my dad. (laughs) What else would you do? (laughs) They're talking to each other about searching for something. They sounded very serious. I can't remember much of what they said except two lines. If they have blue eyes, they're imposters. And don't hesitate. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. (laughs) I remember listening to it for a while until they got far enough away that it became static. My older brother heard the last few minutes of the traffic, including the part about the blue eyes. Our parents didn't believe us, being dumb kids and everything, but it still bothers me. (laughs) Stupid fucking kid. (laughs) Blue eyes. Don't hesitate. (laughs) Fuck. (laughs) The fuck? Fuck. What if that was some, like, ant? anti-white sub- supremacy <laughs> camp like we need to kill all the, the hair, blue anglo-saxon <laughs> the anti-hitlers <laughs> uh, okay hit us hit us aston let's see let's see what do we got 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 by the way pam that was trash but thank you you're welcome. Yeah, I'll, like I'll, I typed it in personally. I wrote that one. <laughs> this one's called "The Smiling Man." That's me. By me, <laughs> Aston Carney. About five years ago, I lived downtown in a major city in the U.S. I've always been a night person, so I would often find myself bored after my roommate, who was decidedly not a night person, went to sleep. To pass the time, I used to go for long walks and spend the time thinking. Weirdo. I spent four years like that, walking alone at night and never once had a reason to feel afraid. I always used to joke with my roommate that even the drug dealers in the city were polite. But all of that changed in just a few minutes of one evening. It was a Wednesday, somewhere between one and two in the morning, and I was walking near a police-patrolled park quite a ways from my apartment. It was a quiet night, even for a weeknight, and very little traffic and almost no one on foot. The park, as it was most nights, was completely empty. I turned down a short side street in order to loop back to my apartment when I first noticed him. At the far end of the street on my side was the silhouette of a man dancing. It was a strange dance, similar to a waltz, but he finished each box with an odd forward stride. Sounds like a crackhead, but okay. (laughs) (laughs) I guess you could say he was dance walking, headed straight for me. Deciding he was probably drunk, I stepped as close as I could to the road to give him the majority of the sidewalk to pass me by. The closer he got the more I realized how gracefully he was moving. He was very tall and lanky and wearing an old suit. Slenderman. <laughs> Can you imagine? That's what it is. Um, he danced closer still until I could make out his face. His eyes were open wide, wide and wild, his head tilted back slightly, looking off at the sky. His mouth formed in a painfully wide cartoon of a smile. Between the, between the eyes and the smile, I decided to... Crossed the street before he danced any closer. I took my eyes off him across the empty street. As I reached the other side, I glanced back, then stopped dead in my tracks. He had stopped dancing and was standing with one foot in the street, perfectly parallel to me. He was facing me, but still looking skyward, smile still white on his lips. I was completely and utterly unnerved by this. I started walking again, but kept my eyes on the man. He didn't move. Once I had put about half a block between us, I turned away from him for a moment to watch the sidewalk in front of me. The street, and si- the street and sidewalk ahead of me were completely empty. Still unnerved, I looked back to where he had been standing to find him gone. Fuck. For the briefest of moments, I felt relieved until I noticed him. He had crossed the street and was now slightly crouched down. Fuck. <laughs> I couldn't tell for sure due to the distance in the shadows, but I was certain he was facing me. Fuck. I had looked away from him for no more than 10 seconds, so it was clear that he had moved fast. Fuck! I was so shocked that I stood there for some time, staring at him. And then he started moving toward me again. <laughs> he, took giga- he took giant, exaggerated, tiptoed steps, as if he were a cartoon character sneaking up on someone. Except he was moving very, very quickly. I like to say at this point I ran away or pulled out my pepper spray or my cell phone or anything at all, but I didn't. I just stood there, completely frozen, as the smiling man crept toward me. And then he stopped again, about a car length away from me, still smiling his smile, still looking to the sky. When I finally found my voice, I blurted out the first thing that came to mind. What I meant to ask was... (laughs) Oh, shit. 
What I meant to ask was, what the fuck do you want? In an angry, commanding tone, what came out was a whimper. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Regardless of whether or not humans can smell fear, they can certainly hear it. I heard it in my own voice, and that only made me more afraid. But he didn't react to it at all. He just stood there, smiling. And then after what felt like forever, he turned around, very slowly, and started dance walking away. Just like that. Not wanting to turn my back to him again, I watched him go. Until he was far enough away to almost be out of sight. And then I realized something. He wasn't moving away anymore, nor was, nor was he dancing. I watched in horror as the distant shape of him grew larger and larger. He was coming back my way, and this time he was running. What the fuck? I ran too. I ran until I was off, until I was off of the side of the road and back onto a better lit road with sparse traffic. Looking behind me then, he was nowhere to be found. The, re the rest of the way home, I kept glancing over my shoulder, always expecting to see a stupid smile, but he was never there. I lived in that city for six months after that night, and I never went out for another walk. There was something about his face that always haunted me. He didn't look drunk. He didn't look high. He looked completely and utterly insane. And that's a very, very scary thing to see. <laughs> 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 Fuck that. Just, just really Kanye West and make America great again. Saying slavery is a choice. <laughs> it's a choice, bro. Wait, come back. <laughs> Where are you going? I was talking. <sighs> oh, fuck that. Uh, we should read some creepy pastas. Ooh, that'd be good. Yeah. What's your guys' favorite? Ooh. Mine's the rake. Oh, is that the the monster one? That's, That's like that downstairs. The, no, it's at the bed. Oh. When he wake and like the wife goes missing, right, or some some shit like that. Like it, from the ones that I've seen of the rake, like it spreads all throughout time. So it's like. There's some where it's like with settlers, and then like they get on a ship and they go back to fucking England. Oh. Like, oh, yeah, no, we're done here. What the Love fuck that. are you guys talking about? Is the rake related to skinwalkers and all? Are they related? Uh, not really, no. But I, I, I know of the skinwalker as well. Like, I just watched uh, the documentary Skinwalker Ranch <laughs> with, with my friend, which was pretty good. What, what are skinwalkers? They're the ones who like, a, like they take like your identity. In order, yeah, yeah, in order to like fuck. You oh, up. the reptile people! <laughs> yes. I think my fuck? favorite creepypasta one is the it, it's it's the Candle Cove one, the kids show one. Mm. Oh, it's so good! Such a good one. Don't know that one. It's basically about like a kids show that got canceled, but everyone who remembers it is like kind of fucked up from it. Huh. And then at the end, it's revealed that it wasn't really a kids show. It was just like a static screen and like. The mom was like, you would watch that show every night, but it wasn't a show. It was a fucking, like, nothing. But everyone remembers, like, the vivid, fucked up shit from it. It's, re it's a really good well, read. Well, like, gory shit? Like... I don't remember it was gory. It was just really unsettling. Oh, the Russian sleep e ex experiment? Ooh! That one's a good one. Yeah. Yeah. Is that the one where the guy's like, there is no God? Something, yeah. Oh, okay. There, no, there is a God, and he has abandoned us or whatever. That I might be know. another experiment one. Yeah, there was a few experiment ones, I think. Yeah. The one I'm thinking of is, like, the guy, he, like, he's the Paul senses. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yours is, like, multiple people, I think. Yeah. Yeah. And they oh, see how long right. you can last without sleep, yeah. Yeah. Both of those are fucked. I'm trying to pull up a picture of the of the rake. <laughs> it's a rake. It's an actual rake. <laughs> <laughs> Just leaning up against <laughs> Whoa, fuck. <laughs> uh, do, you know, do you know what a creepypasta is, Pat? No. How would you explain she, it? She knows of them. She just doesn't realize that oh, half probably. the things on YouTube that I play are creepy podcasts. Uh, they're like I don't watch YouTube. creepy stories that are passed around. Oh, okay. Like, have you heard of the uh, SpongeBob one with the Squidward episode? suicide one? Yeah. Squidward kills himself, but they didn't air. It, it, it's just like. Oh, it's okay. like goofy shit like that. Oh, yeah. They're, a lot of them are really well written. But there's yeah. a lot of shit out there, too. I I remember reading one. Who was phone? <laughs> <laughs> that one's good. Yeah. Classic. There we should get Pam to read that one. Um, I don't know why it always runs slow when we record. Internet's killing me, bud. Your butthole's killing me, bro. You didn't say that yesterday. It's like still using dial up. Your dial up. <laughs> Fucking modem, Pam. Get off my shit. I don't even know what that means. Is a modem better than dial up? <laughs> Right now, so I was like, no, a modem is just like a 
of one router. <laughs> It's not really an insult, so it was. It was You're a router. It's really lazy. No, a saying. router is better than a modem. So you just said I'm better than Pam. So thank you. Uh, you're welcome. <sighs> Ow! What the fuck? Sorry. It's my yeah. Name. Yeah, yeah. That's the one. Yeah, yeah. That's the classic. Ugh. Very off-putting. Mm. Yeah, like this is uh, the one, okay. like. The one that I... <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> it's fucked. Do you remember? There's. It's, I don't know if it's a creepypasta, but it's like a classic story of like the person who's in bed and they have their hand down like oh, hanging. Oh, the dog licks The dog it, licking. And, and then they close the door or some shit and they see the dog's dead. Yeah. Who they walk it? They walk out and like, oh, the dog's dead. Yeah. Or like the dog's not in yeah. the room. Yeah. Ugh. Fuck that. Are you guys gonna tell any more ghost stories? Did you have you just relied on me to have just the Winchester ones? Yeah. Well, I mentioned some of my ghost stories. Your room one. Yeah, there? yeah, yeah. Before, that was weird. Like how how you were saying rooms have like feelings mm-hmm. there. When I went to go turn off my stereo, <laughs> like I I felt like the dread. It was either that or like I, I just felt like like it, there was a threshold that had 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 to be passed, and I like. It's like a long, <laughs> took it like a lot to pass. Did it feel it. like a weight on you, like a like something op- like oppressing, like your body? Either that, or I just like I don't, I shouldn't go in here. Yeah, I yeah. shouldn't do this. But I was like, I got to turn it off. Fuck, fuck that. Yeah, yeah. There. Uh, hmm. Did I tell the one about the voices in my room where I Ashley so. heard it? No. Oh yeah, she thought it was you. She was. It was like get up or something. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Fuck, fuck that. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, yeah. It is weird, though, how, like, you don't have to have a ghost, but just, like, certain energy can be weird. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. I wish I could, like, the Foreman's house, it's so hard to describe the energy. It's almost like how I feel like space would be like, how there's, like, no sound and no, like, air. It just feels like a vacuum. That's how it feels. Yeah. That's how it feels. It's really weird. Strange. Oh, man. Pam, if you could be a ghost, uh-huh. well, how would you uh, want to appear as? Like who? <laughs> like, how, what, what, would, what would your uh, form be? Um, like a solid specter or like a yeah. gassy type thing? No. Would, would you float or would you walk? I mean, I don't know, like, oh, I get what you mean. Yeah, yeah. You know what I envision? You guys ever seen the Mike Tyson mysteries? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Bag it up. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever seen that? <laughs> Is that the cartoon? Oh, it's fucking amazing. I love I, it. I remember the cartoon, but... I remember yeah, seeing yeah. trailers. Yeah, it's like 15-minute 15 episodes, and it's just fucking Ad- ridiculous. Adult Swim, right? Yeah, it's so good, because like, <laughs> Mike Tyson plays his ridiculous self extra, and it's, <laughs> there's like this like gay Victorian ghost, but he's like, solid form, looks like him, but he's still white all over him. Like, <laughs> it's like, oh, okay. Oh, my God. <laughs> he's still like, just like a pale white color, but he's a ghost. Oh, that's great. So it's I feel like I'm going to be a hybrid, a mix, where I'm like, it's me. You can tell I have, like, the clothes I have on, but I'm just all white. Right, right. I nice. mean, at that Every point. black person's dream. dream. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Finally living the dream. So I deal with all day long. <laughs> <laughs> Finally. <laughs> oh, what's this privilege I'm pure. I feel? I feel, I feel the privilege. This is great. Um, That's a myth, actually. <laughs> white privilege is... It's a myth. It's the spookiest story. <laughs> no, Jesus. I think I, I, I would want to appear as like a kid, a kid ghost. Like a creepy one? <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Play with me. Like it, he throw, you would throw a ball down a hallway. <laughs> a kickball, yeah. Chase it. You want to play? I would wait in the hall until the person like looked at me and then I'd run around like a corner and then I'd wait for them to follow and then do, do that until I lead, lead them to some like I don't know. Dead I, feel, end I feel like you'd be like a prankster ghost. I feel like you'd like haunt items and just like fuck with people. <laughs> I'd just say fuck really loud at <laughs> really in <laughs> convenient <laughs> times. Like, like a coffee mug just yelling, fuck. Stupid bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Mom? I'm going to drive a family to divorce. <laughs> <laughs> Probably, yeah. Jesus Christ. Have you guys had a like tarot card re? Oh, I've never done that. Have stuff? you? Not, no. Well, I've had a, f- a friend who's, like, really into that stuff. She's had some really good ones. And I've had a friend who um, used to do them for people. Mm. She's really out there, though. 
Um, but she would be like, I'm like, what do you do when they have like a bad reading though? She's like, it's super awkward. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to fucking die the minute you walk she's out of like, here. She's like, yeah, I did a reading for someone. And it just was not good. She's like, I had to sage my tarot cards afterwards. It was so bad. I was like. Sage my tarot. <laughs> I was like. Oh, Jesus. Okay, I wonder what a bad reading means. Like. Like, I don't know, like maybe just like bad stuff is coming just a way. bad Like yeah. your life is fucked. Oh, yeah, get ready for some shit. I don't know. Uh, what are you guys doing for Halloween this year? I'm getting married. On Halloween? Yeah. What the <laughs> fuck? That's good day. Good choice. Yeah, thank you. Congratulations. Is it going to be themed? Uh, no, because I don't have the wedding gene and I'm not into that stuff. So we're just going to a park. Um, it should take five minutes. Oh, fuck yeah. Pictures. Keep it simple. I like yeah. that. And then my we're going to food afterwards. Am I invited? Uh, you'll probably be at work, but it is at Central Park. Oh, so. it's on Wednesday this week, huh? It is. Central Park in New York City? Yes. Madison is. Square Garden? I will make the pilgrimage. <laughs> <laughs> to New York City. Hitch, hitchhike that Monday. <laughs> come on. Come on. I'm going to be fucking late. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Uh, what are you doing for Halloween? Probably working. That's it? It's on a Wednesday, my guy. And I got work the next day, too. Colin is Hallow's Eve, bossy. <laughs> well, I got some you kids do to do anything spook. the weekend before, though? I would think the weekend of that week would be the party week, right? I no, know. I feel like they would do it beforehand. I think that's the thing. When it's in the middle of the week, no one ever knows. Do you party the weekend before or the weekend after? Both weekends. Fuck it. I want to find a party and party at that party. I want a party at the party. <laughs> I need to find a party, 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 party. <laughs> party, 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 party. What are you going to be for Halloween? <laughs> what am I going to be? I have no idea yet. What are you going to be, Pam? Nothing. <laughs> You're going to be a bride. <laughs> like, no. Dumbass. Actually, my wedding dress is, is like a, one of those like vintage 1920 ones. Oh. I got from online. So yeah, it'll be nice. like that, but I don't know. Okay, okay. Yeah, I feel it. Do you approve of this dress? Her? Most definitely. She looks beautiful. Oh, she- I haven't got it yet, but the pictures look. The girl in the pictures. <laughs> She's hot. She looks, she looks great. Uh, uh, fuck. Fuck. <laughs> Hand me that shovel, Brandon. Hand me that shovel. <laughs> Hand me that shovel. Jesus Christ. Are you going to wear a tux with like the ruffled front? No. Because no, I think you should. I'm actually going to be wearing a Snorlax onesie. Okay. Fuck yeah. Dressing up front. No, no. I'm, just, I'm not going to do that. He's that actually going to do plan, that. Though. Oh, his original uh, plan, Liam. It's, it's just going to be all black with um, a purple vest and purple bow. Nice. I like purple, so I approve. Yeah. My favorite color. You know what I'm doing for Halloween? That's Herb's favorite color. No one asked you. I don't uh, give a fuck. Okay, that's great. You had your chance. Wait, hold on. I don't know if you can Herb, see. your favorite purple? Yeah? yeah. I like him. I, I like this guy. You should marry him or something. Yeah, sure. I want to marry him now. <laughs> we got to get rid of Pam. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, fuck. Yeah, what are you doing for Halloween? My ear's uh, ringing. Hold on. How about you uh, all the time? <laughs> uh, Sorry, guys. The attention was away from for about a millisecond. Yeah. You just had to like... <laughs> me, 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 me. <laughs> so what are you doing? <laughs> Does it <laughs> fucking matter anymore? Nope, nope. never did. No. I'm, uh, I'm going to... Me and Ash, we're going to go see uh, Evil Dead, the musical, downtown. There's a fucking musical? Yeah. And it's, it's like downtown a... Downtown like San Jose? It's like a thing... That's being put on by like a production. Oh, it should be fun. There's a splash zone where like you like the Blood? first yeah the first like two or three rows. Are you in the splash zone? <sighs> I'm thinking about it. We haven't bought tickets yet, but I, I would pay extra for the splash. Zone. <laughs> you, you should. It sounds like a good time. Do you, you, do you guys like Evil Dead? I, yeah, I do. Yes. Fuck yeah. Yeah. I don't think I've watched them in their entirety, but what, what I have fuck? seen. What the fuck? I'm sorry. Yeah, you better be, because they're glass. Well, joke's on you. I'm fucking not. <laughs> Have you guys seen the remake? Yeah. Is that good? No. It's a different thing. It's yeah, nice. It's definitely different. Hmm. It's kind of... It's, it's, like, hella gory and... It's a lot... It's more yeah. straight-faced. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, most things are nowadays. But it's pretty brutal. Yeah. It's like its own... It's like a different take on the same idea. Because the first Evil Dead's kind of, like... It's kind of campy, right? It's kind of bad. But it's yeah, like it's in the good most in, in good way, though. Yeah, it's in the most endearing way possible. Right. You know what I thought was good that Alex said was bad? Fucking face off. 
It's a good movie. I like Face Off. Yeah. Face Off is ridiculous. I fucking love it. It's ridiculously it's a, good. Exactly. It's yeah. like looking in a mirror, but not. <laughs> <laughs> it's great because you have Travolta and acting like Nick Cage. Cage which is fantastic. And then you have Nick Cage acting <laughs> like Travolta. That's the best. It's so fucking yeah. good. Yeah. John Travolta being fucking. Yeah. 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 That was good. It's good. It's the performance of his lifetime, man. <laughs> it was his peak. Um, I've yet to see Mandy. I hear that's really good. Yeah. Do you do you, do you know what Mandy is? No. It's the new uh, horror flick with Nicolas Cage. In yeah. It. it takes place in the eighties. It's it's supposed to be I really can, good. I can say I definitely don't keep up on Nick Cage movies. I probably should watch he, it. Need to. You know, I think he gets too much hate when he's on. He's yeah. fucking on. Yeah. He just I, takes a lot of shit he, movie roles. I kind of like that he's kind of a spaz. It's great. I watched a <laughs> video essay trying to make the point that he was never like that he has always done like crazy mm -hmm. roles mm -hmm. like he yeah. he said a lot of folks tried try to cite um face off and con air as like his his crazy roles. yeah like like that's when it began but he's been doing shit like before that like there's one with the the OG meme where he does the face. Oh. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 He's like an office guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's the scene where he lists off the fucking alf alphabet or some some shit. Alphabetical <gasps> order. A, B, C, D. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like that came so out in ninety four or some some yeah. shit. And face face off is seven. So like he's always been doing shit. National Treasure, that's a good fucking movie. I like National Treasure. I've never seen the National Treasure movie. It's worth it. I've never it's seen good. them. They look fun. They are, I haven't they seen are. them. They're fun. Yeah. They are. They're a really fun ride. It's, yeah. It's like the whole puzzle thing. Have you guys seen uh, Adaptation where he plays um, his, like he's twins? No. Oh. So fucking good. It's directed by uh, Spike Jones. Really good. Oh. Really good flick. Oh, yeah. It's a, it's a pretty meta movie because the movie is about the guy who wrote the movie and that we're watching? Yeah, and it's about him writing an adaptation of a novel oh. for a movie. So it's kind of like, oh, interesting. yeah, it's super fucking wait, good. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. It's like a painter painting a painting of him painting a painting. Yeah. Of him painting a painting of him painting. Yeah, yeah. It's like, so fucking good. Um, Did you guys watch Stranger Than Fiction with Will Ferrell? I did. Yeah, yeah that's a good movie, too. No, I think, guys, a lot of people don't talk about it, but it's pretty good. That, yeah, it's a solid movie. He's just really good Yeah, it's that. it's a nice change of pace for him a little bit. Mm -hmm. it's, Cause, funny, it's funny you guys brought that up, because I was just making chocolate chip cookies the other day, and it made me think of that movie, which is weird. Is there a scene where they make chocolate chip cookies? It's a pivotal point in the film, Brain. <laughs> <laughs> well, apparently, I'm not a real fan. I don't know. I do that a lot. Like, I'll have, like, one thought that'll bring me back to something else, and I'm like, I don't know. You know what reminds me of of that film? The band Spoon. They have like two or three fucking song, Spoon yeah, yeah. songs. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Mathematical Mind. Don't they there. have an album named that? Or am I being dumb? No, they have Gimme Fiction. That's what it is. Yeah. God, it's such a good fucking album. That was the one you you turned turned me on. Yeah, to. I was like, you should check this out. I turn my camera on. Oh, yeah. So good. Um, speaking of Halloween, what was uh name? Give me your favorite costume you had. Ooh, in your life I so many oh so i know i've had a lot what's funny about that is like <laughs> my mom tells me stories about my grandmother she's not here anymore but uh where, where is she she's dead <laughs> where's <laughs> that <laughs> she's ashes <laughs> what kind of country is that <laughs> she's dead. just and, kidding both of mine are dead too yeah, and she's like black and kind of traditional but i was always kind of the weird kid she's kind of black yeah, kind of black you know? kind of black kind of, kind of black, traditional kind of traditional you know black lady because white is kind of traditional <laughs> uh, <black's not laughs> <laughs> stop <laughs> this podcast is so racial we all know white is right <laughs> white no one just wants right. to say it pure, yogurt pure. white milk white whipped cream white, white. Yeah, me, white, you, white, Pam, not, not, not traditional, we are traditional. <laughs> Hers kind of, yeah, you know, yeah. White might he's, I can't argue he's with He's teetering, he's I teetering. Can't, I can't argue with it. <laughs> if I stay out in the sun too long, uh, it gets a little risky. <laughs> the vinyalis part is the name really comes to you. Yeah. Anyway, uh, Anyways, your grandmother, yes. Yeah, and I was always a really weird kid, and I never really realized it, because I wore, like, all black, and she was very con like, concerned that I need, like, therapy or something, and I was like, oh, Really Your clothes are too dull. My gosh, like I think she might be depressed. So I was always really weird costumes, and I guess she was always just like, "Can she be anything happy?" You know, it's just like, like weird, like devil girls. Like um, and... like before it was cool, like um, vampire bride with like the teeth and the creepy makeup, oh, or yeah. 
I was like a pirate before it was cool. But I don't like, think that was ever cool. Both of them. <laughs> yes, they were. Um, I but, think they're cool. <laughs> <laughs> my mom said they're super cool. What are you talking about? She told me. <laughs> I think my favorite costume though is the Wicked Witch of the West, and I had like the green. Oh fuck yeah! Green face and everything. It's nice. good. That was fun. Her looks really comfy right now. I'm kind of jealous. Oh, Can I get in on that? <laughs> Let's go cuddle up. Start spooning. <laughs> what, what was yours, Brandon? Yeah, don't have it be fucking lame because whatever it is, I'm gonna judge it now that you judged mine. Well, you're a fucking cunt. I was, uh, I think, I think I was Woody one year from Toy Story. There's a snake was that in last my year? boot. Was that last I year? was fucking Darth Maul when that fucking Fuck first yeah. came out. Hell yeah, I was. Uh, I had, I didn't have very good ones. <laughs> no. Oh, yeah, she was so quick to judge mine. After that, yeah, pirates I, are lame and fucking. Vampire. After I turned like nine, like yeah, costume. You never wanted vampire teeth. No, I might have been a vamp- vampire one year. Oh, like, Rubble vampire, Rubble vampire. Just it was like third grade, what middle school, when like would, you get very self conscious. Oh, is I when I stopped. Always lame. Me too. I didn't really dress up at middle yeah. school. No. And then high school, it's like I need free shit, so. Yeah. <laughs> um, um, for me, going to your Dolph, Ma- Dolph Mall thing, I was a pod racer and no. <laughs> when that movie came out. That's, awesome. that's probably the coolest I've ever felt in the moment. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Yeah. I, I, um, do you remember the Punisher game on PS2? Oh, yeah, the comic book one where you would, like, torture. There was, yeah, like, yeah, a torture yeah, mechanic, yeah, yeah. Do you? Do you? Do you know when he goes to the jungle and he has the fucking skull face yeah. face paint on? I had my dad do that to me one year, and I was like, yeah, I feel this fucking dope. <laughs> fucking dope. I remember uh, when I moved back here from uh, Lathrop, I, my leg was broken, so I was like... How'd you break your leg? Oh, didn't you fall on a curb? Yeah, I, my fucking aunt... I was in a lot of debt, man. <laughs> <laughs> I, need that. I fell on a curb. <laughs> yeah. Nah, my aunt like gave me Heelys, <laughs> and I was like, "These are fucking cool." Aww. And then I fucked up, and I hit my shin on a curb. <laughs> <laughs> this is like a week after getting them. It was terrible. My parents are like this fucking kid. Yeah. Anyway, Most expensive pair of shoes. <laughs> anyway, my leg was like fucked for like like eight months, and I broke my leg in like I think August. So it was Halloween. And I think that year Spider Man came out, so I was Spider Man, mm-hmm. but I had a cast on. And like, I was like on crutches, and like the we were at the costume shop, and the kid was like, oh, "Spider Man doesn't have a broken leg." Are you serious? Yeah. And I was what like, "What the fuck? I'm sorry. <laughs> Am I not allowed to have dreams?" <laughs> I'm sure that kid was me. <laughs> Did you move back here because you broke broke your leg? Yeah, they like, had to skip town. <laughs> can't afford that debt, man. <laughs> the Heelys were were. <laughs> we're after me <laughs> their pr um, you can't tell anyone <laughs> you at least are safe and they're fun you tell your fucking friends oh one year i um my brother when he was a kid he got a dinosaur mask from the original jurassic park trilogy oh, shit. and i found that in, in storage and i brought that to school <laughs> yeah it was actually a dope mask <laughs> And then I let a bunch of friends wear it, and, like, they fucking tore the back. Aww. Yeah, so it, it was, like, way too open. Fucking dicks. But, yeah. Um, That's lame. Yeah, it is really lame. We had a lame rule that you couldn't wear masks at school. Yeah. That, and you couldn't bring, like, toy, toy weapons. swords or whatever. <laughs> yeah. Uh, dumb. I think the mask thing is to, like, they know who you are, I guess. <laughs> I'm just going to tell my... Oh, yeah. I am a child. We've t- seen too many scary movies to let murderers enter our campuses. We are, are, we're against murderers <laughs> on campus. What a controversial stance. <laughs> <laughs> um, what scary films are you excited for this, this year? The new Halloween looks really good. I was going to say besides that because we all agree it looks good. Hmm. Do you remember when Rob Zombie tried to reboot that? He had two of them. Yeah, that's right. Yep, that's right. I've only seen the first one. Hmm. I haven't seen either. Yeah, I'm not a big scary film guy. Really? Yeah. I love them. 
I, I, I'm on the fence. It depends on it's like Rob Zombie. I, I do love Devil's Rejects and House of a Thousand Corpses. I do like both. Of is Devil Rejects considered scary or like thriller no, horror? No, I would say yeah, thriller horror. Like, like slash. Uh, I like those because I feel like in the backwoods of somewhere, some crazy white people are doing that kind of stuff. Oh, so, fuck yeah. oh so, absolutely. So it like makes it. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, but that House of a Thousand Corpses does have that whole like creepy creature part, mm-hmm. you know? Oh, like, like so, towards the end, right? Yeah, but Devil's Rejects doesn't, but yeah, the first one does. I think I like films more like that, like not hack or slasher ghost ghost films, but like thrillers, like fucking um, Don't Breathe. Don't Breathe was amazing. Did we yeah. watch that together? I don't know if we did. We might, no. No, I think I might have got saw that with I think Ray. I saw that with Emily. Yeah. Okay. Fantastic flick. Yeah. Did you watch it in the theater? Yeah. Fuck. Yeah, that's good. Fuck. Oh, uh, the fucking This is a Quiet Place or? The Quiet Place, yeah. With uh, John Krasinski. Oh, yeah. 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 I didn't say her. It was really good. Did you, did you see that in the theater? Mm-hmm. Jesus Christ. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, like, I like films like that where it's not tradition. Because like, mm-hmm. I, I don't like the horror tropes. Like, it, it's a jump scare. It's like some creepy bullshit. Oh, yeah. dude, I love that shit. I, I love it. I like when they're campy. Campy horror is so fun. Like it's fun. Or Scream. I love that shit. That's... Scream. Scream, Scream has, like, a satire element to it that's a lot of fun. Yeah. Like, like, for me, it's... Like what? The whole thing where they, they're aware of the horror tropes and they're like the whole thing where like uh, Vir- Jamie Kennedy's like you can't do this, this, yeah, virgins, this, uh, this, yeah, they always live and like have yeah. Hmm. I have to re- rewatch that because I think I've just seen it once, like a long time time ago. Well, it's, it's, it's a lot of fun. Time yeah. to watch it. Hello. Oh my gosh, I forgot. How about Cabin in the Woods? Oh, that was a fun movie. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 Yeah, that like, movie goes off the fucking rails. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Real quick. I love how like they uh, like the first like ten minutes are like yeah this is a thing, <laughs> the, the twist, <laughs> yeah, oh yeah yeah yeah, um, such a good flick. Yeah, like I I heard the nun was really bad because it like relied on a lot yeah. of, a lot of those. That bums me out because um the one before that Animal Two was really good. I thought it was really nice. Was it better than the first one? Because I heard it, yeah. it was like, really? Yeah, a lot better than the first Annabelle movie, huh. which was kind of whatever. It was like the origin of the doll, Yeah, it was right? like a prequel, the, yeah. the f- mm-hmm. second one. Annabelle creation, whatever yeah. the fuck it was really called. good, really solid. I've only seen The Conjuring out of all of those. Okay. I love those movies. I know. Those are pretty Conjuring good. 1 and 2. I saw The Conjuring at like a free screening thing. Mm. It was really it was cool. great, like right before it came out. The only special screening I saw, like we... Uh, my dad got tickets for an early viewing of The Punisher with Thomas Jane. Oh, nice. And, like, yeah, like, it, like, still had the, um, not, like, the time marks and shit, but, like, in the bottom left corner, it still had, like, the scene info shit. So oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was, it was a trip. It, it was cool. Um, John Travolta's in that movie. Yeah. It's very John Travolta heavy episode right now. I think you guys are He's really my guy. What's your favorite John Travolta movie? Pulp Fiction or Grease. Mm. <laughs> Those are both good choices. Have you seen Grease? Yeah. yeah. I, seen Grease. I, I I think I was forced to watch it. It's my of course, it's a good movie. movie. Yeah. Most men were forced to watch it. <laughs> my mom, it's like her favorite movie. She'd be like, she'd make bold statements like, that's the greatest musical ever made. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? Did you? <laughs> Stop it, mother. <laughs> I was like, you kidding right now? Did you guys watch uh, a few years back when they did it live with like Vanessa? Oh, yeah. Sardin's I saw like a commercial like for it. Yeah. I didn't watch it. It was terrible. Oh, it was? Well, okay. Well, we're going to talk about Greece right now. It's just kind of like the two, the people they picked for Danny Zuko. It's just like, that's not Danny Zuko. It, it's like, his personality didn't Who really, played him? I think uh, the folks I watched it with said the same shit. Uh, it was so, he's Italian. They picked this like weird, like honky white guy kind of like, it's just like not, nothing cool about him. Yeah. Right. I mean. It doesn't just, have that greaser aesthetic. Yeah. He wasn't me. Mm. I'm yeah. pretty fucking cool. Tell me more. Tell me more. That's what your mom tells you every day, huh? Yeah. Her beautiful flower. Don't let anyone else tell you. I'm like, yeah, mom, I know. Shut up. <laughs> Get out of my room. Thanks, mom. <laughs> Get out, mom. We're recording. My back. <laughs> Get out, mom. We're recording. All my fans. That happens. Yeah. It does. <laughs> it does. Um, I feel like shit like that, like, why even, like, try and redo Grease? I don't know. Or if, just do, like, a live, like, broad Broadway type thing. Don't try and, like, right. broadcast. I think there is a Broadway thing. And they should have just well, left, left yeah, it at that. Yeah, because it's originally a Broadway. Uh, oh, shit. Well, yeah. fuck. Do you know what I found out about Hamilton? 
What? They recorded a live thing of it, but they're not going to release it until 2020 when like they they stopped doing the oh, tour. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, oh, yeah, okay. yeah. Because they want people who want to see it are going to pay. Yeah, yeah that's... exactly. I hear that's super fucking good. Yeah, my best friend said it was like super good. She's you have that. friends? I do. Unfortunately. Do you, do you like the Sorry. theater, Brandon? Oh, she, she's been my friend for like 20 years. So I think I just tricked her at this point to be my best friend <laughs> for about 20 years. Do you like the theater? I don't think I've ever. You ever gone out to like take a play? Yeah. You know? I really? Go, I go to the states. Like, that's where I think it's a cultural thing. So my best friend, she's white, and I've known her forever, and she like grew up going to theaters and plays. And I'm like, no, that's not like a. <laughs> like, I was I was in a few plays, so I'm not. Oh, the Shakespeare. Unaccustomed uh, to the arts, yeah. After what's it called? Shakespeare in the Park or Midnight Shakespeare? Midnight Shakespeare. Yeah. Uh, middle school, there was like an actor or like a theater company came to our our school they would do it every year yeah and oh, like i did the same thing yeah and christmas like, carol oh christmas. nice yeah oh no we it, it was all shakespeare yeah. stuff for us yeah. yeah like one year i did Oth- othello and then <laughs> uh, no perfect casting <laughs> what what's the dude that uh fucks shit up like othello's right who's right the hand? guy who fucks his mom <laughs> that was me that's me <laughs> <laughs> fuck what's his name not Cassio. It's like Othello's right hand man that like sets up the whole thing. Like he just. I don't know. Yeah. He's <laughs> making up. Just Some name. <laughs> and then uh, a com- comedy of errors. Okay. And then I forget the third one. Oh, but you did all three years? I No, actually, I might have just done two. Man, I was so bummed about that. I remember I tried out and uh, they were like, yeah. And I told my aunt and she was like, what the fuck? You're there until like five or six? No. Be home. It's like extra school activities. Fuck that. Yeah, fuck that. Do your homework, you piece of shit. <laughs> but the thing is, like, I they wouldn't let me walk home and like have a key, so I had to wait to get picked up, and they would pick me up around that time anyway because they're shitty. So it was like I would just sit around and watch people rehearse. <laughs> <laughs> I could have been doing that. Could it. be me. There was a lot of kids that like would not show up be- because they enticed you with a check. Like, you yeah, get you get paid fifty for it. bucks, but. After you're late or don't show up three times, they start docking money. So some some kids just got like ten bucks or like yeah. five, but uh, there was a few that like quit. So was it like deep into the program? Yeah, like I one of the last few weeks before we rehearsed or be, before we performed, I had to take one of the role of the servants in Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I'm not I'm not really one for theater art shit. Ashley's like recently got in, like got into it a lot, and we we saw um <laughs> like she's gotten into it, so now it's it's our thing. It's our thing. So <laughs> now I'm into it. Yeah. I'm into no, it. No, uh, we saw um we went to one in SF like um, a couple months ago. We saw like a production of Hunchback of Notre Dame. It was really fucking good. Hmm. It was at the first theater ever built in SF. It's like a little tiny one in the world. It no, was really cool. nice. That's cool. Yeah. That, that's that's kind of place that's probably haunted. Pro- Probably there was a part. Remember the part in Hunchback where like they knock over like the smoldering hot like fucking liquid magma shit. Never seen it. What? Anyway, they they like knock it over and they have like these like drapes that come down. I'm like, oh, okay, that's supposed to be it. And then they drag the drape over the audience, so it's like, whoa! I'm on fire. <laughs> it was fucking insane. <laughs> Damn, so <Yeah>. immersive. <laughs> was like the drape like hot? Was it heated? Like a electric blanket, Fre- fresh <laughs> out the dry. Uh. <laughs> Yo, when I went to the punk show in Concord, like is that the one you missed the headliner on? No, no, that was. Or is this for whores? No, this was for when I saw AFI. Oh, AFI, yeah, dude. How much money do you spend on drinks? No. Don't want to talk about it. <laughs> um, first of all, I bought nine dollar garlic fries that were like fucking cold. Oh, that was cool. No. Yeah. First mistake. <laughs> Can I get guesses on how much the tall, tall cans of Bud Light were? And 18. Coors Light. Oh, close? Mm. Close, but kind of high. 16. Mm, let's say uh, 14. Pam's close. 12. 13. Jesus Christ. For a tall can? A Bud Light? Bitch, I can buy that for like two bucks. Like, what the fuck? Mixed drinks for like 20? Like oh. a flat rate? Yeah. You know they're going to put like this much alcohol. How much yeah. for shots? Just tell me. Oh, f- 15 or some shit fucking hell man and, and you know it was fucking oh it hurt to see like like do you know how in shows when like guys want to go into the pit they'll just throw throw their beer 
saw so many beers being thrown. No, they were chucking them. Oh, because they like, don't give a shit? I wish I was that rich. Just throw away 60 bucks. They're like, come on. <laughs> give it to me. <laughs> One guy came up to me and the girl that I went went with. And he was like, uh, do you want do you want this Coors Coors Light? Like, I, I, I just poured, poured it. And uh, a person at work gave me the tickets. And she was like, don't do it. I was like, ah, fuck it. I'll take it. Like... Was oh. it pee? No, it was beer, but she was you, worried that, you, you that, that it was real. My what? butt hurt, hurt so uh, much. You know, and then the show went on, I got real sleepy. <laughs> I actually know a guy that got roofied. Fuck! Mm. On accident or purpose? He was, uh... Did he like, take the wrong drink? Mm, he was what? at a college party with, like, um, a bunch of people, and, like, he's a sorority girls. And he got one of the drinks that's just for the sorority girls. Mm. And, like, three out of, like, the four girls, like, and he was one of them. Got like, completely roofied. I was like, "Oh shit!" Fuck. He's like, "I woke up and I, like, he's like, I was that like on, on a, like a campus party? Probably, yeah. Fuck that. Which college? That's the, protest. Pro- probably San Jose State. I mean, God, like. <laughs> even states fucking up. San Jose State, I heard, has kind of been fucking up. Really? Like, I don't know anything about it. I hear a lot of shit from Roshni saying like, like there was something like a uh, human trafficking attempts on, on oh that, yeah like i saw that on lure, the news yeah yeah trying trying to lure 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 lure, 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 lure girls yeah. that's one of those things doesn't sound like a word anymore lure 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 lure, lure. 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 <laughs> gum 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 show me <laughs> show me <laughs> show me <laughs> well and they got in trouble over the last few years like over some like the racism stuff like there was a guy for like the one of his roommates who's black and they had like swastikas and stuff like that. And, like, what the fuck? It was, on the, it was on the news and like... Um, I think I heard about that. It's like hate crime shit has been happening there a lot too. I, I feel like shit like that can't be filed under freedom of speech and like religion and belief and shit. They, they were it's doing like it direct- inherently hateful. I feel like you can't. Well, it was also tried out in the 40s. Didn't work out. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't fucking work. <laughs> it's round two, man. <laughs> it's a new perspective. <laughs> like, no, it's... Did you guys see that thing where, like, there were a bunch of, like, uh, posters and, like, Snickers for, like, a alt-right, like, white supremacist group, like, downtown? Downtown San Jose? San Jose and Campbell. I remember when Trump first got elected, like, there was a bunch being posted up in SF. There was, like, someone who hung up, a like, a Nazi flag oh. in SF. It's insane. Once again. Day after the election. White is right. White is right. You Together. Know, white, white is, is right. right. I don't. Agree, but I accept. <laughs> I accept the privilege that may come along with agreeing with it. With that racist being in the court now, I think, I think we're all good. Well, yeah, so <laughs> I when didn't I, keep I got up a with notification that? on my phone about it. With the Flipboard shit? Or no, like, what? um, it was like a, the news app on my phone. Yeah, me too. And it was like... Confirmed. I was like, mm, not this person. So can can someone? So he's on the Supreme Court now. Yeah, yeah. he's a justice mm-hmm. now. Yeah. So until he dies. Yeah, or, yeah. Or they can retire, but it's rare. Yeah, if they choose to. Yeah, but they can just, they be like impeached? Is that a thing? No, no, I don't think so. I think they're they're just in in poli- in uh in uh the government college course I took. Like the Supreme Court, the whole judicial branch is like the worst because it's so not transparent. Mm-hmm. Like they can, they do make whatever. the laws. Yeah. They make yeah. laws. They do fucking any, it's fucking scary. Who watches the Watchmen, man? No, I don't know. <laughs> 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 um, Wait, so like. Uh, it was like the Senate vote was like 48 to 50, I think. It they, was super close. He, he was like the um, lowest person to be voted in ever in American history. Yeah. Yeah. I, Shit like that, I feel like bo- votes are being bought out for him to be, you know, probably, in. probably, uh, it's, or if it's it's in their best interest that he's in there. Of course, yeah. yeah. Well, shouldn't shit like that be voted by the people? Probably. Like, if probably. they're gonna make laws it's that not. affect the people, why have the Senate and the Houses vote? Folks who don't like laws don't apply to them. Mm-hmm. Well, I guess the, their mentality is like, you vote for the senators who vote for this, mm-hmm. so vote for the right senators. Yeah, yeah. I, that's the whole thing of yeah. a re- re- republic, huh? But fuck, it's insane. Like, even if, like, even if he wasn't, like, like they found, like, oh, he didn't do it. The way he acted oh, during that whole thing. insane. Absolutely. I heard, I heard the calendar thing, like, that's... I was told that by my mom, and I was like, this <laughs> No one does that. Psychopaths do that shit. They're fucking. I like beer. 
Fuck, man. Sometimes I drink too much beer. And like the, but his, I never blacked out. His reaction to the, the lady asking, him, like, well, have you drink a lot without getting, like, blacked out? And he's like, well, haven't you? And she's like, no. No. <laughs> no. Like, you can drink without getting blacked out. What the fuck are you talking about? I, I, I think just the fact that a potential, like, judge guy, Supreme Court judge, had to go through shit like that mm-hmm. should automatically have him not be like, in d- the he running. He should be DQ'd. Yeah. yeah. Like there's too much fucking baggage on that. Yeah, not worth it. And then like I read, like someone made a really good point. Like this was the best you could offer. Like there was no other better candidate. Well, you doesn't know? the president pick? Yeah, there was no. How many has he picked? Two. The two. Is, is this the second? This might might be the first. I think when it was either right before Trump or when he got it. Like there was an opening. I think. I don't know. You have to think how many people Trump has hired and then fired like two weeks later. <laughs> like, yeah. just thinking like two weeks from now, he's like, okay, I don't want him anymore. Like, he's kind of stuck. <laughs> yeah, because you can't fire him. You can't do shit. He would have to step down. I wonder what the balance is now on the. I the think Supreme it's in Court. favor of uh, yeah. Republicans. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> it's really nervous about that, but I mean. It just depends. They really have. They're supposed to upload and look at like the law. So. They're supposed to. They're supposed to. So I don't know. They're we'll, supposed we'll, we'll to. See. It's just insane that um, what's her name Ford like went up there and had to do it in front of fucking everyone. Who the lady? The lady who uh, accused, accused him. him? Yeah. Mm-hmm. She had to go up there and like tell her shit. Tell what not happened? in front of like police or anything. Just in front of a bunch of on that like yeah the panel. I feel like that panel was kind of biased if. They were throwing all sorts of shit at her, man. It's kind of weird. It's like, yeah, because she wants to ruin her career. Yep. I saw a thing where it was like um, questions answered or at least tried to answer, and it was like a red and blue thing. And on Ford's side, it was all blue. Like she answered, she answered or attempted to answer everything they asked. And on what's his fucking name? Kavanaugh's side, there's dude. so much fucking what red. What the fuck? It's insanity, dude. Did you watch the whole thing? No. It's fucking trash. I, it's a garbage fire. I, I can't watch shit like that oh, now. No. Like it, I, I I get so fucking mad. I get so mad. And you're already full of anger. So yeah. Like I, on top of that. I need to watch you die. It's just like how can this be allowed? It's how are we functioning? We're not. That's the thing. We're not functioning well. It, Fucking, ah, uh, I just, like, I don't... It's gross. I don't fucking know. I don't know how, like, why any... Why? Well, all the more reason to vote this uh, November, right? Yeah, I was... I thought, like, election time was this Friday, but I guess that's the lo- the uh, date to register to vote? Yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. Yeah, you gotta register by this week. I'm already registered, so... Yeah, I was like, I'm not getting any ballots. What do you mean vote? Like, fuck, 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 fuck. <laughs> Am I be being good, suppressed? I want to be a good person. <laughs> do you, uh, do you, do you guys all vote? Yeah. Oh, fucking Pam. No. I do. She don't. No. Pam, you piece I of shit. I knew I like him. I knew I like him. <laughs> it's important. Yeah, piece of shit. Oh, it's on purpose. I purposely don't vote. No. I Why? Just, um, for me, like, I just don't. Um, for me, I mean, for years, I always get that question. It's more of just... The government in general, I just don't agree with the way it's run. I'm either sides, Democratic or... You just think it's all trash? I like do. it's garbage fire? Yeah. I, I really You're not do. wrong? And I think the problem is, that really irritates me, I was talking to my mom, is neither one will ever reach across the aisle because they're scrutinized by both sides. Like, anytime yeah. someone's not, they're considered... They're voted out. You know, they're yeah. considered not Democratic or not yeah. considered... I'm like, how do you get anything done ever? Like, gun debate. You can't, they can't even have a conversation with each other. It's like no one's willing to me. I'm like, do do Republicans have some points? Yeah, a little bit. I mean, like the the rifle. Do you really have to be twenty one or whatever? That's for a certain gun. That, that's kind of extreme. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, someone's mental illness ever be able to get a right, get a gun? No. But no one's ever yeah. willing to have any conversation about anything. They just Spe- freak. especially now, especially yeah. Now. They really it's... so they freak out. So it's like, yeah, you can get all these um. He's, you know, more democratic people are more open back into the office. That's great. But what's going to happen? The people that are super conservative. They like hype up even more. Yeah, they're going to be like, we're being we're gonna, pushed out. And they, they block. They block more. Yep. So, it's, it's exhausting. Yeah, it's exhausting. Like, I, yeah. Yeah, he uh, he's been in office what two years now? Who? 
Trump. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. It feels like fucking 20 years. It has. It's, it's, it's nuts. <laughs> Although um, this year did fly by. I'm tired. <laughs> I'm tired, tired just hearing about everything. Golf. I'm tired. It's exhausting. <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> you know, I don't know if it's because I choose not to like seek out news stories about him, but I feel like I have not been seeing a lot of like Trump said some dumb shit. Like it's as, as much not, it's as I did the first you're not year. Seeking it out. Yeah. It's, yeah, exactly. I mean, half the time on my Facebook, like I have two super people who are for him, mm-hmm. and they're just like, "Well, it's not like that." And then I'm like, "Well, what did he say?" And mm-hmm. so. They're def- they're constantly defending. Him. That's like my that's my aunt on my dad's like, side. It's fucking gross. You know what really bothers me too is, which I think is interesting, because my mom is obviously very Democrat. My dad's moderate, but grew up with Republicans in mm-hmm. his family. And my grandmother, on my dad's side, is very Republican. Loves Ronald Reagan. Thinks he was like the greatest president ever. Ronnie right? Reagan wasn't. But most Republicans say they love Ronald Reagan, right? Mm-hmm. So these Republicans now who are like for Trump and seem to be okay with this Russia stuff. Ronald Reagan would shit his pants if he was like, are you fucking kidding me on this? Mm-hmm. He was so anti. Yeah, Russia you know, did, I'm just like, but they just forget all that stuff. I'm like, you guys forgetting your own, like, you know? Like, <laughs> Ronald Reagan comes back from the dead. <laughs> are you guys fucking kidding me with this? <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's so inconsistent. People just forget. It's so great. They just forget their own, like, history of, like, stuff that goes Very on. inconsistent, it's yeah. It's so fucking annoying. <laughs> and that's what bothers me about politics is people just have amnesia all the time. Now, I wasn't there in that, era but i feel like a lot of the republicans that supported him were like like white collar like in cities like the workers con- 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 anyway. conservative now it's a lot of like back backwoods rural, rural fucking who feel like marginalized mm-hmm. yeah just because i fuck my daughter doesn't mean <laughs> that i shouldn't have to give up my gun <laughs> beautiful <laughs> Sounds about right. Sounds about right. Yeah, exactly. Verbatim. And the thing is, like, let's say if Hillary... My dad said that. Yeah, if Hillary got elected, right, it would still be... I still think it would be bad. Just Because they're going to be pushing against that, yeah. Yeah, I mean, you, nothing... Even worse, you know. Yeah. I, I think people who even voted for Trump didn't necessarily want to, but people have this thing. They hate Hillary so much. Yeah. Trump, I think, set the tone for that election to be, like, no matter who won, mm-hmm. there was going to be a lot of... Um, Bile and vitriol. Yeah, because let's say he, she won, mm-hmm. he would have been validated and saying like, "Oh, that's all the same shit. Mm-hmm. They just fucking pushed me out." And then whoever was be, be behind him is going to be a fucking super against her. Yep. yep. And then we see how it is now. Like mm-hmm. they'll yeah. yeah, different flavors, mm-hmm. same thing. Yeah, uh, fuck, dude. It's there probably wouldn't be a. <laughs> yeah, I do wonder if, let's say, I mean, he had some unrealistic things. Let's say Bernie Sanders. I wonder if it would have been as bad. I wonder if some Republicans would have stayed home and been like, oh, okay. I don't know. I don't think they were driven by your hate for Hillary. I'm not really sure. Yeah. I feel like if Bernie won, it'd, yeah. it'd, it'd be different, but I don't when, know if it'd be better, though. I'm when sure. Bernie was first on the scene... I was like, oh, all right, yeah. And then I saw him in the debates, and, like, he kept saying the same shit. And I was like, oh, you're just, like, you kind of are the same person mm-hmm. as Hillary, but you're just appealing to young people. Sup- yeah. Super PACs. <laughs> Super PACs. <laughs> like, what's that? Super PACs. Yeah, like, it, yeah. He he seemed more senile as the election <laughs> right, cycle right. Went, went on. Yeah, like, halfway through, I was like, wait, how old is he? Oh, uh, fuck. Uh, Hey, will he last a term? <laughs> he he seemed the most real out of all of them, but I think his like de- his team was just stick to these three things. Mm-hmm. Appeal to the young. Push it. Push it. Yeah. Yeah. So basically, I, I don't vote, but I'm aware of what goes on in politics, and I do know I can't ever get pissed off because I don't vote. But I live in California, so my vote, if I want to be Republican, wouldn't fucking matter. Yeah. <laughs> and then your Democratic vote is kind of like a... A drop of rain in the ocean. Yeah. You know... I know people hate that. It doesn't matter. I'm like, I know, but I know my political history. I read, but I know, but still. Yeah, you're, you're well-versed, but you choose not to. I respect that. What's, uh, what's kind of fucked is, like, I feel like part of the reason why we're in this, like, this fucking, I don't know, same moat mm-hmm. cycle thing is, like, you have folks like you who are just like, I'm not going to vote because it's not... 
going to do shit. And then the old school folks, like, I vote all the time. Mm -hmm. Even if I'm uninformed. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And I saw a polling where, like, the majority of voters are older people. Yeah, 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 Yeah. exactly. Mm -hmm. They are. I wonder if when those folks were young, they did as much. Probably not. Like, like, I'm curious to see the... The polls from like the sixties. That's a good question. Actually, yeah. no, I'm sure the sixties they were because they were all got I, nothing better to do. Well, <laughs> they had Vietnam War to vote vote against. They had civil rights. Mm-hmm. So I guess we're thinking forties and fifties. Like if like the young folks were were active in. Oh yeah. Well, you gov- also have to think government. some people couldn't vote, like women mm. and minorities. <laughs> women got the right in the thirties or the twenties. Something like that. Twenties. Yeah. Late late twenties, yeah. African Americans couldn't vote around there till around like the when was that? Civil War? No, Civil War. (laughs) Civil rights. (laughs) (laughs) Civil War. One thing you guys kind of have to keep in mind too is that uh, like a lot of the kids in high school right now are really pissed about how things are going, so it's making them. As soon as I turn this, I'm voting. Like I'm gonna change this shit. Yeah, there's there's a big young voter movement. I I hope so now that we're mm-hmm. dealing with this shit. Yeah, you have the millennials that are like, damn, here, like, ah, eh, who cares? But then like the new generation that's coming up right now is yeah. like, nah, we're gonna we're gonna fix this, and we're just like, ah, eh, we'll see what you do. <laughs> like, I know a lot of folks we went to school school with. They didn't like. There wasn't. They didn't really give a shit. Uh, like about voting or, like, while we were in high school. Yeah, like there was not a big push. Or I, like, I um I just missed the voting thing. Oh yeah, yeah. I wasn't eighteen until like the week after the election, so mm-hmm. I couldn't vote. I, yeah, I, th- I think I missed two. Th- I I, th- I think I missed both of Obama. No, I missed one of Obama and then I got him on the second. Yeah, I, I just have... missed the second Obama hey, one. Babe, you're welcome. <laughs> 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 this one's for you, baby. <laughs> Fuck. That was that was a strange election too. Two terms. <laughs> Who did he? He ran up against the second time, right? Romney, yeah. First time was John McCain. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That was an interesting election. Yeah, Dude, I, I remember the John McCain one. Don't remember him going up against him at all. He, he kind of won that one, like not by a land landslide, but it was it was a safe. It was, it was a safe yeah, one. safe one. Oh fuck! Remember when we had a cool president? Who was like a person? Obama? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's like that goes back to like, remember when George Bush was our president? Oh, uh, the, the good times. So <laughs> yeah. memes. The good, the good. And 9 11. <laughs> yeah, he gave us the greatest gift of all. 9 11. The 9 11 <laughs> memes. God bless. Us. Did you see the Vice trailer? For what? Where um, Christian Bale's playing. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's what it's called. And okay. then Sam Rockwell's George W. Bush. Yeah, he, he does that kind of good. Yeah. So, you, have you, have you guys seen it? It looks so oh, fucking good. Yeah. It's directed by Adam McKay. He did... Um, Big Short. Big Short. Okay. And Is that the same one who did all the, like, the comedy movies? I think so. Like Step Brothers yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> what a fucking jump. Yeah. Good for him. Yeah. Big Short was a great fucking movie. I haven't seen that yet. I hear... You haven't seen it? I've only seen... Watch it tonight. I've only seen the scene with... Um, <laughs> Watch it right now. What's her face? Yeah. Margot Robbie, Margot Robbie in, in the, the hot... Yeah. Yeah, yeah they, they, they do a lot of good ex... ex- position type type shit like that but it's it's a good story it just it, it leaves you feeling so shitty oh you're like helpless yeah <laughs> yeah yeah oh, like fucking um what's his face office steve carell steve carell is super fucking good in that like he's a great actor yeah i love him i heard the film he did with uh when he played the wrestling coach like I heard, oh uh f- fox yeah foxtrot no no fox, fox catcher, catcher. Yeah, fox catcher really good. I heard, tatum right yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. I heard it was a good film, but it wasn't accurate. And that's why a lot of folks didn't really like it. But I hear his performance in that is really good. Yeah. Oh, fucking politics, though. Politics. Politics. Poly dicks in my butt. More than four. If Poly. you could have more than one dick, what would be your number? <laughs> Safe eight. eight. <laughs> Safe eight. <laughs> Safe eight. Like, <laughs> Bundle them up, baby. You know what I'm saying? Would they like move in like a circle, like a like a like a wormhole? That sounds fucking horrible. I'll get them on like a crank, so I I can crank it and <laughs> spins around my butt. You know, it gapes oh, it. around your butt. Yeah, nice. or like in and around. You know, it spins yeah. It. And I would use Crisco as lube. Well, that <laughs> smell lovely. It tastes lovely too. <laughs> Yeah. Fatty fecal matter, baby. Yeah. That's what I'm about. 
Mm. <sighs> you know, uh, with Obama, with his term, he didn't. Uh, he didn't keep a lot of his uh, promises. That's what happens when you're in the shit, dude. Yeah, you get in there and you realize, oh shit, they're gonna stop everything I do because I'm a Democrat. And yeah, you, a lot of the Republicans stopped. They had the floor for a while. Oh, his his entire f- yeah, first term, so and then the second term. It kind of started to shift a little bit, so he couldn't get much. Well, done. the only thing that, like, the, one of the most substantial things he did was the whole Obamacare thing. Mm-hmm. Oh that, yeah, yeah, that was like a great move. Though I think. the one thing I disagree with Obamacare, I will say, is I don't believe you should get taxed if you don't have health care. Yeah, that's kind of the shitty. Like, that's, I'm like, what? That was the oh, that's yeah. the one thing I was like, okay. That was people, the kind of shitty thing about it. Like sometimes, like it's it's cheaper to pay the fine than to pay the health care. Oh, is it really for some people? Yeah. Mm-hmm. But, Did um, they ever um, make a new one, or is it just that now? Still, I, I don't know. Has, I don't know if it's it's, it's still that uh, Trump's trying to replace it or upgrade it as he's. Yeah, saying. they're still working Trump on it. Yeah. So they haven't figured that out yet. Uh, you know yeah. what? I, with, that's why you're bringing it up. I feel like we've been distracted. Because <laughs> they they were talking about it for a little bit, and now that I feel like that was like yeah, I feel like they ago. were talking about it, and uh, then that immigration ban happened, convenient. and then like the convenient. Nazi thing happened, and then it's like was and that then, four years ago, I don't even know anymore. I'm like, oh yeah, happens. that's right, the healthcare. How old am I now? That's been bugging me. Um, yeah, he was saying like his first one hundred one hundred days, he he was going to like repeal Obamacare and shit. Yeah. Yeah, that Where's that go. fucking wall? Yeah, I want fucking Mexico to pay for it. <laughs> What's funny is this like... This sounds like a bit. It sounds like a fucking <laughs> sketch. <laughs> We're going to build a wall around it and we're going to pay for it. So, like, when his term's done and all the fucks who said, like, we're going to get... We're going to get a wall! <laughs> like, what are they going to say? Well, it like, doesn't, I, think, I feel like it doesn't matter for most of them anymore because they're like, oh, we fucking won. It doesn't matter. Right, yeah. It's not even like... You're not going to do what you said you would. It's like, you got in there and you Did won. Did you guys watch this clip at the UN? No. Oh, my God. It's my favorite. Oh, isn't that the one where the cunt, like, they're all they're all laughing, right? Yeah, and he's like, well, I've had the best presidency of every presidency <laughs> in all, all of time, all of, like, U.S. history. And they're like, just start cracking up. And he's like, well. You know what I think that is? I think that's the same thing he does as, <laughs> at his rallies. So he's, like, used to it. That's he's what just... they're saying. And they're like, and he was kind of, like, was laughing. Like, oh, I wasn't expecting that. I'm like, yeah, because you're with real people, dummy. Yeah. Like, real <laughs> leaders who know what the fuck they're doing. <laughs> I think Alex was saying that they played that clip, clip on Fox News and cut it right <laughs> be, before they, 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 they laughed. Yeah. Oh, Have you seen fantastic. that clip of him where he hisses? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is that? He was about to say a word and they just cut it fucking perfectly. <laughs> this is great. Oh, my God. Fuck. Hey, at mm. least the memes are great, right? Mm-hmm. It's great because they're funny, but you can feel the pain. <laughs> The sadness. <laughs> You're like, so ah, accurate. fuck. So oh. yeah. I just feel like embarrassed to even say I'm American sometimes. I'm just like, oh, God. Yeah, if I was to ever go somewhere else, I'd be like, like I'm from Canada. 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 Canadian. Hey. Eh? Sorry. I said when people from other countries are like, tripped out by trump they're like so how did this oh, you let that happen huh? like, like what's that about you're like Fuck, I don't know. <laughs> you're asking the wrong guy uh, there i think in germany they were like going through some similar shit like some lady won or ran and like she was kind of you know, like a trump type she character. Had, like, the same kind of rhetoric right yeah yeah and i don't know if she won or not but they had that i heard justin trudeau was kind of like a character too is that for france no, that's Canada, right? Prime Minister. Yeah, ah. he, he's just some kid, kind of. Like he, he's like a young adult. Is he the handsome one? He mm-hmm. is. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, handsome. I'm pretty sure that's so why he looking. won. Um, <laughs> and then right around the same time, they had Brexit. Pam, what's your favorite breakfast? <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Better say raisin like, bran. Like some uh, cereal. Or some oatmeal. Are we talking about you going like at home or are you going out? Because that's different. At home and both. Give us both. Okay, I would give say, us the whole spread. Okay, uh, I'd say if we're going Answer out. Answer the question. Thank you. Pam, Wait, hold stop on. avoiding it. One second. Are you guys ready for it? <laughs> yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. You gonna fucking interrupt? No. Fix the mic real quick while you're at it. <laughs> <laughs> Fix the mic, bitch. <laughs> I was just about to actually. <laughs> I could just, no. uh, eggs Benedict. Okay, wait, hold on. Eggs. Ooh, yeah. fuck yeah! Uh, mm-hmm. Honestly, yeah, yeah actually. So the okay. the Hollandaise. Hollandaise. Oh. The nectar of the gods. So so hash good. browns dipped in that Hollandaise oh, sauce. Yeah. Oh, so fucking good. Yeah, what's Sunday? We we, we should go out for breakfast. <laughs> it's 
five thirty in the afternoon. Black Bear Diners all day. Fuck oh, yeah. I haven't been there in a bit. Several bits. Several bits. Yeah. No, I got fucking homework and shit. Me too. Midterms this week. Um, you actually have a fell place down the street for you that's open till like two AM, so that's where we're going. So. Oh, is that you're going to Fumai? Uh, Fuck Sa- Saigon. Yeah, oh, nice. I the one across the street. I love that place. Down here? Yeah. I think Fa Saigon has the better bowl. It doesn't have um, better drink options. I yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, Pho Mai is just fucking... That's just the place. It's... Yeah. Yeah. It's very fucking packed all mm-hmm. the time. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. I like the taco place that's... A oh, few. Royal Taco. <sighs> Fuck. Although they're closed on Sundays, bastards. Who the fuck is closed on a Sunday? A Monday, I Chick- get... Chick-fil-a. Oh, I don't eat that on purpose. So. <laughs> <laughs> I've only been there once, I think. People always go... People yeah. go, oh, you don't get Chick-fil-A? I'm like, yeah, I don't like their... Because they don't like gay people. I'm like, oh. I'm like... You fuck. can't taste racism, <laughs> baby. <laughs> yes. Clerks, too. Fuck yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I know, I know. I, just, I can't do it. Yeah, I've had it a couple times. It's fine. People, it's chicken. People always go like, oh, well, you, you sure, you're not sure. I'm sure that people are racist or homophobic. I'm like... That's fine. I don't this care. is like in their company thing. Yeah, like but they, they've come out. Their mission statement. Yeah, they've come out about it. So we now. don't serve the queers <laughs> or like, the the hard R's. Like, we don't serve the queers and our chickens 100% white breast meat. <laughs> no dark, no dark <laughs> meat. <laughs> no dark meat here. Straight in the trash that goes. <laughs> Too spicy. <laughs> the like to have. Nothing but chicken, though. Like it's not really appealing to me. I'm not a chicken guy. You're when a I did, when I did eat meat, I was I was. Well, all, you're not a chicken guy. All huh? about the beef. Wait, how long have you been a vegetarian for? Ooh, 2015 since. No, you. No, 2000, fall of 2016. No, were you a vegetarian because you don't like it or the environmental or the? Chemical? Oh, I watched Cowspiracy. So and <laughs> that changed your whole world. Environmental. Environmental. <laughs> I watched Food Psychopath. <laughs> I watched Food Inc. and then I was like, maybe I should, and then I didn't. I watched Food Inc. too, and I was like, oh, that's pretty fuck fucked up. But that's right, right when that came out, Cowspiracy was more because I'm like, I kind of agree that we shouldn't fuck up the environment, mm-hmm. and you know, we we should be conscious of that. Yeah. And the whole uh, take on that film was like, uh, meat and stuff, like the food. Mm-hmm. Industry really fucks up the environment more yeah. than just people being. Yeah, I was like, oh, okay, so maybe uh, probably shouldn't. Eat I meat. think once um, like lab grown meat takes off, mm. that's going to be the new thing. Oh yeah, uh, it's. I think there's a place in L.A. that's doing it now. Yeah, I forget the name of it, but fucking L.A. <laughs> Reggie Watts, I he posted some shit that he tried it, and he was like, yeah, it's fucking dope. Pretty soon he's going to be Veggie Watts. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Fuck. Okay. Well. Yeah. Should on, we? Uh, on that note. Yeah. On that note, it's been a cool two and a half hours. It's been a nice feature-length film here at the little boys' room. Thanks for thanks for joining us. Yeah, Pam. Pam. Thanks for thanks for wasting you. my fucking time. Such a fucking guy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We'll see you guys uh, next episode. <laughs> when Pam's not here, yeah. it's gonna be a lot better. I'm sure. Well, if uh. Thank you, Herb, for driving your uh, lazy fiance. Doesn't want to get a shout fucking... out to Herb. No. Shouts out, Herb. It's so fucking cool. Herb, <laughs> herbs and spices. <laughs> All together, let's say it. Herb, uh, Peyton Manning. <laughs> I don't know. Remember that Peyton Manning meme where he had like the mask on his face? No. And it's, you don't remember? Oh fuck! It's like that. I'll, I'll show you later. I'll show you later. <laughs> So. All right, uh, if you have any questions or bullshit, you, you know where to reach us at. Our Instagram and email. What blog. is our Instagram page? Little Boys Room Podcast. What is our email, Aston? No, I want Pam to answer. What I, is it? Do you guys have an email? You didn't fucking study? <laughs> I gave you the study guide before you came on. What the fuck? <laughs> it's littleboysroompodcast at gmail.com, or is it just the Little Boys Room? Uh, at the AOL, first one, at <laughs> where it's the uh, it's the little boys room at netscape dot com, <laughs> earthlink dot com. At our uh, aim chat room <laughs> login, <laughs> we do a week we do a chat every week with our fans <laughs> on uh, MSN Messenger. <laughs> it's really uh, lonely, so please join. <laughs> please join. It's me alone. <laughs> 
Okay. Uh, bye. Right. See you guys next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>